after blunt after blunt after blunt after <laughs> that's just the THX logo Somebody already said muted before we were on. <laughs> before we were on, they said muted. Yeah, I'm looking at the feed. Well, jo little... joke's on them, Timmy. I don't think we're muted. I don't think we are either. I think we might be a little quiet. Could turn it it's up a little. Oh, so quiet. Oh, so, so still. still. We don't want to get ping dinged. We don't oh, want to get dinged. For yeah, that. we're having enough of those problems. Cause, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, we we're so like on the nose with that. It might get picked up. <laughs> you know. Did it? Did it? All right. I just wanted to get to that part. You blow so. up fuse. Man, that is such a good music video. Oh my god. So what's the use? Oh wait, I don't need the chat box in my window because you have a chat box. Right? Yeah, what is it's, it's overkill. Uh, overkill. I'll also take off a horse. Welcome. Hi everybody. Welcome Hello, Horror show. Town. Welcome to the game. Do the big show. Oh. The big dance Bush, here. Bush Pritzel says, Zach, all caps lock, question mark, exclamation point. Well, sorry, Sam, but I aren't good enough. Sam, cut the feed. Okay, I'm cutting the feed because... If you don't know how to appreciate us, we'll Bushels. just see ourselves out. Bushels, what was it? Bushels or something like that? Doesn't want us here? Uh, uh, no, well, Zach, uh, he'll be here in a little bit. He'll be here, he'll be here. Uh, I'm back in the overalls, yes. Uh, dono link. Uh, I'm still working out the dono stuff. I have to get on the phone with PayPal. Let me see the, the email that they sent us. It's basically like, hey, you're not allowed to receive donos right now. Uh, so, and don't donate to our old thing because we're transitioning off of our old one, so... To the old Twitch donor or the old PayPal link? The old PayPal link. Right, because it's, uh, yeah. Uh, sensitive Timmy strikes again. I'm not being sensitive. That was I was goofing around there. Why don't you the just uh, take a time the, uh, Anyways, uh, I like doing that and then doing that. Like um, so uh, I got a Rubik's Cube. Should we work on that? Oh yeah, let's work on. The, no, what should we do today? Okay. Let's like like. Let's work on Timmy's Rubik's cube. I okay. mean, uh, you see the signs? Let's do. Let's do it a little bit different today. Let's uh, okay. let's have a little bit of a game plan. Uh, okay. So we got I, the Rubik's I, cube. I, I pitched out. Yeah, we have Rubik's cube. Um, I pitched out earlier that we come up with a list of the top ten hunks of all time. Yeah, well, we already know four of them and five. Trevor can still count. Um, so now we're down to five. <laughs> here, I'll do this. Um, all right, Rubik's. Is it a K at the end or is it an X? It's R U. Oh, it says it on here. R U B I K apostrophe S. Yeah, because it's Rubik is a guy. Really. Is that I think it? So, yeah. is, is that real? Let's look it up. Jeffrey no Rubik. Jeffrey Rubik. Oh yeah, he was good friends with Phil Tetris. Yeah. Uh, and uh, George Batgammon. They were they were one of those like they're kind of like the Rat Pack of the Brat Pack of their time, you know. People go, "Who are you?" And he'd go, "I'm Batgammon." <laughs> All right, top ten. Thanks, or we'll change it to five. Tell me, where's the Uno deck? Where's Uno? Uh, I'm not wearing hockey pants. Hunks or punks? We're hunks. talking about hunks. Hunks. 
Duh. Sam's kind of a punk. Uh, top you know what? Is easy. Billy Joe Armstrong. Trey uh, Cool. Trey Cool. Mike Dirt. Mike Dirt. Uh, and then Mark Hoppus. Uh, uh, Mark Hoppus. But then, then this is the curveball. Um, Dexter Holland. Dexter Holland's opus. Yes. Uh, isn't that his name? Is yeah, Dexter Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From uh, the Offspring. Offspring. Top five punks. Uh, yeah, I think we nailed that one. Um, yeah. and then oh, Derek. Why do we know this? Derek Wibley. If you're doing top ten, you can get Derek Wibley in there from Derek... Sum Forty One. Oh, oh okay. he's that he's that guy from that. Sum Forty One. And Sum let's put 41. Fat Mike on there for some Craig, or for some <laughs> for some uh, cred. I was reading Zach. Someone said Zach Kreger in the chat, and I was reading his last name and saying the word Craig the same time. So I said some Craig. <laughs> I think it, it is really funny putting Fat Mike on this list, uh, right? Because he's not a hunk. Uh, he is Although, not well, a... some people uh, fuck him. You know, he no, had an underwear a... line. He had, I heard he had he's a laundry a virgin. line. <laughs> yeah, what he might be, I don't know. Uh, Zach is coming. Just everybody settle down. But yes, yeah, no. so Zach would be on both lists. I agree. Timmy, you don't go mm -hmm. through years and years and years of playing the Warp Tour with your virginity intact. You don't. Matt Mike has definitely touched boobs. Doesn't he have that uh, song like doom 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 doom? I touch boobs. I think it's pretty good. Probably, yeah. Um, <laughs> just top 10 cum shots of all time. I don't know. <laughs> I took a shower earlier and it got pretty exciting. Yeah, top 10 personal cum shots. Well, Sam, the uh, one that made your kid. You got to say that one. I got to say the one that made mine, I guess, right? I guess. So, yeah. so I guess we count those. Uh, <laughs> now we're down to nine. It would all be like different types of porn that I discovered. It would be like... I discovered th the day I discovered this type of porn. Oh, what a good cum shot. <laughs> Nine minutes in. Nine minutes in and we're at porn. I just hope everybody okay. is happy with that. Hold on and hang on. Ask what am I doing with my hair? Well, I cut off about five inches today, but I'm just going to let it grow out again. I'm just kind of uh, no, no, keeping no. it under control. I think what hold on hang on means is, is what are you doing with the hair that you cut off? Like. Uh, hold on, oh, hold on. um, it wasn't are enough you to doing donate anything with it. Like, <clears throat> no, I mean, I to donate to like a cancer thing or a wig making company, sure, but to donate mm -hmm. to one of these degenerates, I, I bet there's plenty oh, I of didn't people keep it that would like to have your hair. Now you're just, throwing I guess, away, you're throwing away, yeah, gold it already hair. got swept away at great clips, you guys. And I was wa waiting for my turn to get my hairs cut, and they're sweeping up in between people. And I see them the first time I notice this. They're sweeping up all the hair, and they it looks like they're just sweeping it under one of the cabinets. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I saw somebody else do it. Great clips like a chain. Yeah, it's a chain. But you can check in, and it's really it's real, really fast, you know. So you can, like, check in online. So anyway, so I see them sweep under the, the carpet cabinet a few times. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I hear a noise. Oh, it's there's a vacuum thing inside this cabinet, and you sweep the hair under the cabinet into the vacuum thing and then it like takes it up it's so weird uh you know? thank you Trotter. but it looks like they're just fucking slackers <laughs> um that is weird uh have is that where you've always gotten your hair cut in south dakota great clips no no i used to go to a local place called the kill rad a guy named Chris. he had a really great lisp and he was like this weird old bartender that then started cutting hair Oh, from weird old bartender to weird old barber. Uh, Which I guess is like a Western town kind of thing, right? Because it used to be, you know, bartender, the sheriff, the, the postman, and the barber are all the same guy in some places. Yes, you know? they just wear different hats. Mm -hmm. um, so you, 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 you don't care. You're just like, do it as quick as possible. You don't care how your hair looks? For this, yeah, because this is all about just me wearing it long. You know, there's not, like, a style here. I just want it all the same length. They, like, keep notes on you every time you go in. And it just says, you just want this all the same length. I'm like, yeah. But you know what but, I thought? I Go ahead. Sorry. Isn't it a thing in, like, like haircut that you don't want it to be, like, a 
it looks better if it's not just like a straight if you like well she probably like did it that way but if you did a straight type, line if you did a straight line it's best. not the same length all the way around you know what i mean they make sure that all the hair is the same length you know what i mean so it is probably a little bit longer in the back you know that kind of thing i just you know what i mean yeah i i i'm not being coastalist and i try to be good at be well you're awake so you probably are i try and be good about this and, and stuff but i mean okay d d go somewhere better than great clips man hey like, uh Hortown, let's shut him up for a second everybody tell me scale of one to five how's my hair looking also i thought it'd be funny you know i had the i had this thought sitting there i'm like i could do this but i don't know if i want to deal with it It'd be really funny for me to just be like, can I get, like, I want my bangs, like, right here. Like, just get, like, some hot girl bangs, you know? <laughs> With, I guess I just look like a Ramon. Didn't they do that? Here's the thing. Everyone's saying five, but the thing is, they can't even see where your hair was cut. Well, why does that matter? Oh, you mean, because... you don't mean the place. You mean where my hair was cut. Well, okay, yeah, we yeah, can see yeah. the back. I mean, it's like, it's not weird looking. It's like, it's hanging down, you know? This is how it normally looks. Everyone's the only, like, I can just get to, all right, okay, all right. Whatever, I mean, you have good hair too, so why don't you just get off your high horse and understand that they do have, uh, you know, sharp scissors and places to learn how to cut hair in the I rest of the world. I just that all hair hairdressers are not created equal. No, and... absolutely freaking not. But uh, when I just want my hair cut short, like, I don't want, uh, haircuts are expensive enough. I don't want to... Uh, I only go once every three years right now just to get it a little trimmed or once a year or something. So like, you know, I'm not going to go crazy with it. Like, and I mean, I have it tied back into a ponytail half the t like 80% of the time anyways, you know, so whatever. I don't really care. Well, I, I get what you're saying. And I think when I finally do get my hair cut short, I'll go like get a nice, you know, they do have some nice places here. There's one that's like a up? ladies. Salon. What up, Z? Is Z here? All right. Yeah, you guys don't see yeah, him. I see no, him. I have the I had the thing. Hey, there we go. Cool. What's up, man? What's happening? <laughs> are we on? We are Chris, on. Crisco says, Zach, you're killing it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Crisco said that? Yo, that's Out the my game. dog. Uh, no, we've been uh, on. We talked about uh, haircuts. What else did we talk about? We talked uh, about the best uh, your, hunks? your top five personal cum shots. <laughs> Oh, your, I like your that. top five like personal that. ejaculations, I think, is. is, is we decided uh, we have to count the ones where we made our kids. So we only get to choose four, really. Oh, like you're, yeah. oh I thought you meant like personal, okay, that you've seen in a. Oh, you, oh, you thought you. we meant like in videos that we watched. Yeah, yeah. That's what, I don't know why my brain went there. <laughs> that one where that girl's not expecting it? Because you had your list already. You, had your, you were like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let I was me like, just... James D. Uh. 2009. <laughs> Here, I got the link. I got the James link. Dean. Yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's why he was late. He was he was getting all the hyperlinks ready. He was get... yep. Everyone's saying sweet hat, Zach. What, what's your hat say? I will meditate uh. and then destroy. That's great. <laughs> Does it look backwards in my in no. my Zoom no. window? It's backwards. Yeah, but it happens? mirrors it back to us like we see it right way. Was... Did you have that custom made? No. Oh, cool. Dude, I forget where it was. Remember Zach when we we were on tour and we got custom made hats? It was somewhere yeah. in the south, like southeast. I want to say Virginia. North I still Carolina, have that hat. Like that. Oh, what did yours have on it? Zach. Should I go grab it? I'll go grab it. It had a little dog and the devil or something, it's right? It's funny because the little dog looks exactly like my dog. What? <laughs> it's like the spitting image of Augie. This is like uh, the, the I secret. Get this I, is when you I were reading The Secret, wasn't it? One of the I things. manifested I manifested, <laughs> manifested my dog. like 12 years before he got the dog. Uh, what uh, the what did you get? The weird thing is, the weird thing is, is the dog on the hat, look at it, it has a huge dick. A huge and there's a little stick figure wiping it clean. <laughs> lipstick dick. And that's why he thinks it it doesn't really it's a different color than Augie. It's just It's a German a Shepherd. Yeah, it's a German <laughs> Shepherd. But he's like, it looks just like Augie. And we were just like, Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what did you get a hat? I got a hat. Um, what did you say? I can't remember. I Trevor got kill all politicians. Oh yeah, I that was a crazy one. 
Yeah, that was a crazy one. <laughs> Kill all politicians. Okay, bro. Um, uh, here's I, here's the hat I had made in, in North Carolina. Yes! That's right. It's the same. Yeah. That does look like Augie. <laughs> see? And you can see the it big exactly dick. exactly like Augie. Yeah, he's got that big dick on it the bottom. It does look like a big dick. <laughs> it really does. I think that's his stomach hair coming out. I think, it's that, like I think that's his other foot. I think that's his other foot. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, probably his other foot. You should put a guy on there wiping the dick with a Kleenex or something. <laughs> um, I, 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 I had like a... You know, uh, that was a moment of real honest vulnerability that I shared with chat one time. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I don't... It's I don't sad. I, it's sad I, I guess I'm that, just... Uh, what was I doing? Uh, what do you call People it? make such a big deal out of a man wiping a dog dick. No, you're taking care of your pet, and that's good. And if he happens to jizz, I don't reprimand him. I'm not going to punish him for jizzing. <laughs> do you? Do you celebrate it? In my well, what? I'm gonna, I don't want to make with him feel a bad. cigarette. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, with yeah, a yeah, cigarette. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, good job, buddy. <laughs> uh, let's light up this birthday candle. <laughs> oh, boy. It's like Mitt oh, Romney. Boy. Um, um, we're talking about. Top five hunks, Zach. Do you have any input on top five hunks? hunks? Like who are the hunkiest? Yeah, men? well, we were gonna go ten, but yeah, I said, well, I already men. know five of them. So yeah. are we talking actors or just just humans? I think just hot humans. guys. Humans. But then someone saw it. We said punks, so then we uh, named uh, who did we, we listed name? the top five punks? Right, which uh, was all three guys from Green Day. All three guys from Green Day. <laughs> The, the guy from Blink-182. Blink, one of the guys from Blink-182, and then one of the guys from uh, um, the, the Offspring. Offspring guy, yeah. yeah. So that's the, the definitive list. The uh, most punk then, motherfuckers in the world. And then number six was G Gene Dealman. Mm. Who's that? <laughs> that movie uh, that is supposedly the best movie of all time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Iggy Pop. So, oh, some people are taking this seriously. Someone says Iggy Pop doesn't make it. What? No, he's no. Like, dude. Iggy, Iggy Pop is punk as Mark Hoppus. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, you think Iggy <laughs> Pop is fucking... punker than The Offspring? Are you crazy? Have you heard Pretty Fly yeah. for a White Guy? <laughs> yeah. Dexter Holland has like a doctorate or something. <laughs> I heard that. Uh, oh, someone in chat just said it. Dexter Holland from Offspring PhD? has a PhD in biochemistry. And was trying to cure HIV. Weird enough. Whoa. Wait, doesn't, uh, isn't well, that the same degree? <laughs> Someone says J.J. Marvin. Yeah, J.J. Marvin's pretty book. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I guess um, I, they're doing a pretty good job with HIV, right? Isn't there a new, uh, a new thing come, working on that's like, are they thinking they're getting closer? Or am I talking about something else? The guy from The Descendants also has a PhD. Milo, right? So yeah. does Milo. Dolph Lundgren. Oh, yeah. Milo goes to college. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason I know that, too, because it's the name of an yeah. album. <laughs> um, how's everyone doing? Good. Sorry I'm late. I was, that's okay. I was at dinner with Amy and Augie. Oh. Not, not my cool. dog, Augie, but... Trevor's son. Oh, How's he not, doing? Not as cool. Not as cool. Not as cool. <laughs> um, did you guys go? Uh, I don't, probably shouldn't talk about where you guys go to dinner. Um, <laughs> Arby's. So someone Arby's. can retroactively stalk us. No, I mean like, but like, if you know, they'll go like, "Oh, I'll go to this place all the time because I hear." These I don't go there all the time. Right. Where we went, no, no. Which Was, Arby's? Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to see Skinamarink tonight. Oh, fun. Yeah. That is found footage, right? I don't know what it is. I've, I've heard I've a lot no to talk about it, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. Huh. It's yeah, like people are talking about it. It, it looks like or I've just heard about it today. And from what I, my gut reaction of seeing one screenshot and reading the headline that I forget is it's paranormal activities with an evil kid. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's going to be much more abstract and like art house than a paranormal activity. Before. I've heard I, that I, I, about I, it. The little bit that I've heard about it is like, it's kind of plotless and very challenging. Hmm. 
Mm. I think I think oh. it's very polarizing. I think people either love it or hate it. That's cool. Mm. It's it's lo-fi dreamy horror. Yeah. It's so like what you're saying is horror. what you're saying is it will not come to Watertown, South Dakota. It will definitely not come to Watertown. <laughs> You know what's uh, funny is so when I first heard the title of Skin of a Rank, here's where my brain went. Colby liked the cheese, thank you, by the way. Oh yeah, uh, Colby very, dropped memes. Very oh, chill. Gift in the subs. Um, when I first heard there was a movie called Skin of a Rank, here's where my brain went because you know there were the, someone made a horror movie about the Grinch, right? Someone made a horror movie or was making a horror movie with uh, Wendy the Pooh because he's a public domain now. And so they're making. Oh, a... I saw the trailer for that. Yeah. So where I went with Skin of a Rank, me, I don't know how many other people remember this, but there was a kid's show on uh, Nickelodeon in the late 80s, early 90s, Sharon, Lois, and Bram. Yeah. Skin of a Rank, giddink, giddink, Skin of a Rank. I remember giddink. the song. The Elvin yeah. Show. Yeah, that's from that movie. So I was like. Yeah. So before, without knowing anything else about it, I was like, oh, I bet that's like where they turn Sharon, Lois, and Bram of the Elephant into like a horror movie. I bet they're, I bet Sharon, Lois, and Bram's real lives were a horror show. Right. You know, everything I know about children's television, you know, <laughs> there's that dude, that dude from uh, England, just like raping all the, like hundreds of kids. Uh, Who? Jim, Jimmy, help me out. Jack. Oh, Jimmy Saddle? Jimmy yeah, Savile. Jimmy Savile. Yeah. What's that show? What show was that from? Wasn't he a he, children's he, show? He guy was like or, an announcer. I or, think he maybe was like he was an announcer. Maybe he was like just a like a personality. Guy. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. But have you ever seen um what's his butt? Uh Louis Theroux did a did an hour special where he followed Jimmy Savile all around before all of the shit came to light. And um you can just tell that Jimmy Savile's like a deeply, deeply like broken person. He's a fuck. Anyway, it's good. <laughs> Louis Theroux is awesome. Um, well, yeah, you know, and uh, didn't Steve from Blue's Clues have an De issue? Deja oh, Intendu says, says, that guy was mean. Yeah, he was mean. <laughs> yeah. Rasta Jew says he used to molest corpses in hospitals, too. I, I think that might be right. I, he did shit. heinous shit. Yeah. Uh, but, Chug, yes, I did. Who else would? All right. You um, know what? I'm gonna take Jimmy Savile off my list of hunks. <laughs> yeah, okay. He is coming. Jeffrey off. Epstein, Jimmy Savile. <laughs> who who's even on that level of like horrible in the last twenty years? Uh who else could like keep them? Who who did you say? Did you say Weinstein? Epstein. Oh yeah, Weinstein. Weinstein's, Weinstein's up there. Level. I mean, we uh, talked about it last week, Cosby. Bill Cosby. Uh, Cosby, sure. Uh, there's that that uh, Kanye. I put Kanye on there. <laughs> he's pretty great. He's getting up. There. He's a fucking Nazi, dude. Yeah, he's man. Like you're. It's Nazi. so weird too. But yeah, he's that guy. I don't know what how he got to where he is from where he was. You know what I mean? It's like what what? I guess it's just being rich, huh? Phil Spector. Uh, no, no, not Phil. Gidley Pop says Tila Tequila. <laughs> Who she pretty much did the same thing Kanye like a did. Crazy uh, racist, right? Yeah. Yeah. She just kind of. She's like just a misunderstood genius who accidentally <laughs> shot a woman. Leave him alone. Leave him uh, alone. Someone says, "Timmy, did you know Ted Herkus? Who the fuck? Who's Ted Herkus? That's a local last name." Wait, Maybe what happened to Justin Roiland? This did something happen to Justin Roiland? This yeah. Thing? Oh, he's he's he going got mail, to didn't court. He? he, I mean, like, he's in I jail, think, right? Is he in jail? Well, he got I don't arrested. Know. Maybe he's out but yeah, uh, domestic abuse and like a bunch of other inappropriate stuff. I heard too. false imprisonment. Is that right? Jesus, really? I, I, Sam, do you know him? Uh, I've like met him. Uh, I don't know him well or anything like that. Uh, you want to? You want to just shoot from the hip? Just mouth off about him for a bit in public. Justin Roiland <laughs> is arraigned or something for beating his wife. Is what that is what people say. Wow. He's That's what he's been years, arrested for. years okay. in prison. Uh, oh, these are two-year-old charges? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, uh, the guy they asked me about just got arrested here today for eight counts of kitty porn, so... Who? Who? Watertown, the city on the go! Um, that used to be our slogan. Uh, there's some dude here in town, apparently. Someone asked, do you know him? And I'm like, no, but I just they said he got in trouble today, and I looked it up, and that's what it was. Is Watertown a city on the go? I, I mean, know. 
They've no. got... What makes a city a city on the go? What, I don't know. First of all, when that well, that was that was our slogan when we were in the '80s. It's not our slogan anymore. I don't know if we have a slogan anymore. Watertown, but, um, a city on the go. We have a quick clips. What's it called? Right, great clips. We have a great clips. That's where Timmy gets his haircut. Yeah, Sam's uh, making judgments while wearing overalls. Anyways, uh, on rural, Sam's making judgments on rural communities while wearing overalls. Uh, Sorry, uh, I'm being a little fashion forward here, Timmy. You could just say these overalls coast. are cool. Fucking coasts. Now I got a few inches cut off my hair today, and Sam's fucking grilling me about it. So I can't believe Sam would notice it. What are you in love with, Timmy? Yeah, what no, do you want? He was fuck talking me? about it. Yeah. He said he goes to a place called Great Clips. I think they they have like sports games a, playing while they cut your no hair, it wasn't so. anything like that sam timmy asked you a question do you want to fuck him answer truthfully <laughs> yes all right okay timmy how do you feel about that <laughs> well you know what how i feel is after all the shit talking he said about my haircut the fact that he wants to fuck me kind of erases all that right so obviously this if is you working. guys if Look, you guys were I like go... confronted by a wizard listen to me listen to okay me. a wizard comes to you all right you're you're in an RV with a wizard, and he says, "Listen, everyone on the planet is gonna get a very horrible yeast infection. Women, men, everyone, and, and, and it's gonna be gone. It's not gonna last everyone forever, but they're all gonna get it, and it's gonna be super uncomfortable for every adult over the age of sixteen. I'm planet it's gonna get a really nasty yeast infection unless you two sixty nine each other and you both shit in each other's mouth." <laughs> that, that will save the whole planet from getting a yeast infection. That will be very painful for a month. Do you do it? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, wow. Sh Sam, I feel like we yeah, should have waited. I didn't even think about it. It's like, of course. I feel like we oh, should have said no and waited for a worse disease. <laughs> Zach, exactly. like, okay, you guys. Not, I, there's no way. I'd be like, sorry, everybody. No. <laughs> Like, not hey, even just, we just say no exactly like, like, okay right. what about how about everybody has a hernia everybody's gonna get a hernia if you blow each don't blow each other like, oh, okay. <laughs> guys zach doesn't care about you me and Timmy. yeah zach wants oh, everyone to have you. that protection. much uh, yeah i mean I, look, if was, everyone's you. gonna get like if everyone's gonna get cancer i would do it right but i, I think you can all deal with a little yeast infection. yeah but i mean right. you help out it's just every hey it's just person. sucking sam's dick a little bit you help out billions, billions of people are like, wow, what great dudes. And you get to no, come. No, no, no. Oh, let me say. And well, that, you get that, to that come. Right on top. And you get to come in a soft, soft mouth. Uh, <laughs> but you're never going to get the credit. It's not like you're going to walk out and they're going to be news cameras like, these two brave hetero men, you know, <laughs> took one for the team. Someone no, asked. No, no. Like, this you just got to do it. It's going to be anonymous. You'll, no one will ever thank you. Smart okay. Henry says, do Sam and Timmy also get the yeast infection? No, not if we blow each other. No, they don't get the yeast infection no matter what. Okay. You guys are immune okay. from the yeast infection. In yeah, fact, we... it would behoove you to fake that you have a yeast infection so you don't look suspicious. Because <laughs> everyone will know, these two guys, I don't know who they are, were offered this deal by a wizard. If I find those guys, I'll fucking kill them. Give up. <laughs> yeah, doesn't this yeast infection suck? Butt Chug says, uh, spitters are quitters too, boys. What does that mean? Oh, you gotta swallow. Yeah, you gotta yeah. swallow. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be ironic if uh, if we we did it, we went through with it, no one knew, but uh, for I I don't know, like I guess because our mouths are dirty or something, we give each other yeast infections. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can men even get a yeast infection? They can, right? I think you can. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can get it. Well, I mean, the yeast infection is a little no different idea. than a UTI, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I suppose, right? I don't know. Look what is uh? Idiots. What is it in fact? God, we're done. <laughs> this is this is we're a knock at the stupid. cabin. Hey, you know, scenario. It's yeah. not called the whitest <laughs> gynecologist, you know. I mean, what are people expecting in here? This is the best version. If these guys of... don't know everything about vaginas, I'm getting out of here. This is the best version of knock at the cabin. Like that movie would be so much better if it was Dave Bautista being like, listen everyone's gonna get a yeast infection <laughs> we men, all are women. oh let's you two guys <laughs> ron weasley here 
Oh, man. My little brother just sent me a hyperlink to Lemon Party. That's funny, Trent. Oh, boy. <laughs> So wait, did Nate get? Did he get our channel in trouble, or his? Does he have a different? No, channel? his channel. Got in trouble? His channel in no. trouble. Yeah, what well, yeah. he was talking about is so his channel got in trouble, and then apparently it's against TOS for you to have someone who's suspended on your channel, which means tomorrow for Trailer Boys we can't have Nate on. So yeah. that's so funny. Nate yeah, is literally funny? banned from Twitch. He's personally banned. Yeah. yeah, for watching a, it was a, it was something weird. They it was were like, a documentary. It no, no, it was um, a website called uh, um, what was it? It was like Pornhub, Pornhub. X no, nothing like that. Xhamster dot com. He was watching X Shut Hamster, the fuck up, and they were searching for stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> Nate was having people. I don't know what this means. He was having him chat him off, chat him up or something. <laughs> Everyone was chatting him off or up in the, the chat. Isn't it yeah. funny though that in like in 2023 is like youth culture is getting more and more accepting of literally everything. And we're beginning to see sexuality as like, you know, not a taboo that our, our methods of communication are becoming increasingly fucking puritanical. Yeah, it's, it's very like, weird. Yeah. It's fucking so weird. It's like, like, corporations telling us we can't do anything remotely sexual on, on these things it's like right get with the time Fucking can you screwed. imagine what would the last two years of this show be like if there were no tls so all right my penis know. would definitely been exposed at some point <laughs> why sam's why probably too why do you say your penis would why, why do you say that well i was saying if there was never if we had no rules why here, would you show your penis no 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 hold on let me finish so I feel like uh, you guys would have. We we would have come on up with some scheme at some point that involved me showing my dick. I mean, it's I mean it's in you the name of the show. And if there was no TOS, yourself. what? You would have been peer pressured into exposing yourself. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I've done that on stage for us already. So, like, if it wasn't against the rules here, it probably would have happened at some point for some reason. You know what I mean? I'd be. Masturbating. I'm not saying I would like come on the stream and be like, "All right, who's ready for the dick?" No, but I mean, <laughs> there would be. Some I, I can imagine there would have been some situation where that happens. You know what I mean? I'd be masturbating yeah. all the time, and you guys wouldn't even know. I'd be so good at it. I'd just be like <laughs> this, just be like this, and then all of a sudden you'd see bloop, <laughs> just a little bit of cum. You guys would be, what was that? And I'd be like, nothing. Sam tubing. Sam's tubing <laughs> it up. <laughs> yeah, TOS is bullshit. Uh, no, I I. I discovered something be, really... You know what we should do? We should set up... I'm sorry, Sam, to interrupt you. We should get some soap dispensers that are, like, pressurized and shoot <laughs> Oh, up. no. We should keep them just under the frame line. And every 30 seconds, we just, like, blast the soap so it goes up. And so we, we normalize it. You know what I'm saying? So we, it's it's no longer a big deal to see, like, white stuff come up. And we just talk. And then let's see if any of us can secretly actually get our gear. Well, oh, we can... my God. You know what I would do though? I'd accidentally buy green hand soap, and then the green dot would fly up. You guys, would... or like mine is just always like white, 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 and then all of a sudden just like red, just like hits me. I'm just like, oh, I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> that was the I real one. I gotta go to the doctor. That was uh, the real one. Again. There was a streamer. Okay, Defried Cook says there is a streamer who jerked off in a tent on stream, so you could get away with it. Well, how do you know he jerked off in a tent? He just said that? He just, yeah, we could yeah, say I mean, that. I could put say, up a guess tent. what? I'm going to go over here right. and I'm going to, you know, I'm hey, doing everybody. it right now. I'm doing it. Yeah, oh, it's like, hey, hi, man. Director oh, Barbarian oh. jerks off on stream. Someone write that up. <laughs> Director yeah, Barbarian don't, jerks don't off in front of teenagers. Don't that because somebody fucking will. Uh, You're sorry. right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, uh, so wait, I... I I have a weird story. I was, I was like hesitant to even like bring this up because of how weird it is. Uh, I had a dream this week. Hmm. So let me go back. Is is Nate's oh. been doing a lot of like uh, uh, the AI art stuff? And last week we were talking about AI stuff. I had a dream this week where I had a conversation about I think with you guys about. AI pornography. Okay. And then I woke up and I was like, is that a thing? That's gotta be a thing. It's gotta be. You mean like sure AI... Sure enough, AI generated pornography. 
like video or pictures pictures what did you put into it what did you put into it i no. uh there's there's like site (laughs) there's one site i found that's just generating like pictures or people are generating pictures and you can click all these things uh like to be like oh this and this and this and it'll generate a per a picture with all those different things and you can even search through those pictures but you go to it and it's just like streaming so fast of like we but like it's funny because does it look like photographs or does it it look like it looks real and then every once in a while there will be like like a dick coming out of the street or something like that (laughs) something that doesn't make sense like a girl having sex with just a dick in the street or like the her she's missing an eyeball or something it's weird it's very (laughs) like huh the future is now like that's like yeah it's very like like uh like in that and then uh uh there's another this is crazy this is now like wow we've 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 crossed a threshold here there's another website that i found that you can put anyone's picture in it and it will ai them nude Hmm. okay you're saying this like this is gonna blow our minds well yeah i mean well think about it it. think about it technology Think about how easy it will be. Like, we can't trust. And of course, everybody's immediately s- saying in chat, do Timmy. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Let's say I'm sorry. I thought about, like, coming on and being like, oh, this will be funny if I come on with, like, a, a naked picture of Timmy. But, like, think about it. If, if you, like, if I, if I was like, hey, Zach, check it out. I got this naked picture of Sarah. And you were, like, a jealous man it could really like influence you to do something if it looked real enough. And the thing is, is that like, it's not that they look perfect, but they look perfect enough that you could easily do some Photoshopping to make it look perfect. Mm. So we're getting right. to this point where we can't believe our eyes. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's scary. It's, it's scary. It's scary. Weird. I agree. I mean, once deep fakes get really, really good, which will be like in two years. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you'll never be able to trust. It's like the Hollywood Reporter scandal with Trump. It's like, you know, he, because he, remember, he even tried. He even tried to, to say, like, I think it was a fake after he confessed because he's so stupid. He confessed <laughs> to it. And then later he's like, yeah. wait, a I think it might have been a, C- a CGI fake. Wait, like, what? What? Which thing was anyone, that? The, the grab Hollywood reporter pussy? grab him by the pussy. Yeah. Really? He's, yeah. yeah. He admitted he it and then said it was a deep. <laughs> but pretty soon, it's like even stuff people say on the floor of the Senate. Yeah. And that hits the news. They'll be able to be like, no, it's all fake. And there's, there's, everything is fake. You know, it's it's really dangerous. Yeah. yeah, I agree. No, I mean, like, imagine. I feel like if there's someone out there that has, like, an incriminating photo, like something that, like, could be used as evidence against them for something. Well, then they'll just generate a thousand just like it, put those out there and be like, oh, it's all fake. Yeah. Or or like like uh, push for like there to be some court case involving a fake photo that kind of makes that like a, a negligent detail, you know? So like it's yeah. it's something that's in that has been to court that like, hey, we can't trust this photographic evidence because it's easy enough to fake. Yes. Yeah. Yep, we're all fucked. Yeah, man, it, it's it, you know, and and I know it's always been the case, and that's, I'm not the first person to say this, but it's like every step we make towards dystopia, it's always just like the dumbest version of that step, though. You know what I mean? Just like it's just, and I know saying it's like idiocracy or whatever is like kind of cliche now, but I mean, gosh, just everything is, you know, it's like. So when did AI really start fucking up your uh, your uh, your country? Well, when they could like uh, uh, make it make up a guy's dick, you know. I mean, uh, that's it's a funny thing is like that. Like I think everything is always like pushed with porno, you know. Like, yeah, there's porn on the internet. The internet changes the world, you know. Home like, video. There's porn on VHS. VHS yeah. succeeds. Uh, yeah, and so uh, I think this this. Now that I've seen deepfake or AI porn, this AI thing's really catching on. <laughs> oh man, that's that's depressing. 
It's 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 very weird. Mm hmm. Zach, are you any good are at you? these? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna send uh, you guys no. the link, and you guys can uh, no. look at it. You want oh. us to look at porn? We're not screen. looking at porn right now. <laughs> We just did yeah, 10 Sam, minutes on TOS. We're not, not going to go to port. Yeah. I want you guys to react. I don't know. It's not TOS to be looking at porn. On I mean, it's... Oh, interesting. All right. Okay. <laughs> so you want me... This is how I'll react. You want... Oh. Just... <laughs> <laughs> huh. And you won't see my hands. <laughs> Timmy's little screen is like, bloop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys got that that soap dispenser thing set up, huh? No, uh, Timmy, yeah. we just brought it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, someone oh, says quick. Someone in uh, he, Ilya works says quick. Someone enhanced the reflection in Sam's glasses. <laughs> uh, that's the. Sam, I'm not looking at this. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go to this. One. The right. second one or the second one the or the first one. one? Okay. I mean, uh, I feel like I'm gonna get depressed. I feel like this is gonna be depressing. It's it's very weird. It's very yeah. weird. Warning: This site is for adults only. It contains AI generated adult imagery. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd so, rather watch Timmy's face watch it than I than me watch it. Are you looking at it, Timmy? Yeah. Give it's me a running like, commentary. <laughs> okay. There's like an old lady with giant boobs. That's funny. Um, wow, it's going really fast. Is that what it does to you, Sam? It just spit. It's like yeah. Well, you can turn off the like the that's like as fast. Oh, as I turn live are... off. Okay, so now you can that's, make it stop. Live is like as fast as people are generating it. That it's it's Timmy, much... Your daughter is in the doorway behind you. I don't know if that matters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all ladies. I mean, she knows what the you know. Anyways, uh... it's all ladies. <laughs> that's the thing. It's not. They're not real, Timmy. Well, I know. There's okay, so there's there's a lady that kind of looks like uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, first Mission Impossible movie, the red haired lady that's like the computer hacker. Uh, someone looks like Vanessa Redgrave. Someone looks like that. There's somebody with uh, it's like a lady wearing a gray. Like, she, looks like, she looks like she's at work. It's like an Asian lady. She's at work, and she's like looks like she's sitting in an she's office. She's definitely at work. Okay. She's, <laughs> no, just hold on. I'm just trying to. I'm just mind. trying to like explain the picture. So she's wearing this like gray business shirt, but has big because, cleavage, uh, and you again, can see. Hold on, hold on. This is really weird. You can see the nipples through the shirt, but like, the shirt doesn't look see through. It looks like there's just has her nipples poking out through like specific nipple holes in the shirt. <laughs> so I wonder what someone did. And then next to that is a lady who kind of looks like a tooth fairy or an angel, but they can cover and come. But what, what line of work does she seem like she's in? Let's get to I don't know, theory. maybe, uh, it, it definitely looks like customer servers, you know, secretarial mm, maybe. Know, that's hot, like that. that's hot, yeah. Yeah, people love, people love uh, hot secretaries. Okay, there's a really weird one over here that's like an alien. And it's got big boobs because all of these have big boobs. But <laughs> this is a better segment than I was expecting, honestly. Can <laughs> alien, listen to this though. This is Not so bad. fucking weird. The alien, it's like an, it's like an alien face, right? It's got big boobs, and then it's got below that, it's like it's got its butt in its front. It's like it doesn't look like a vagina. It's like a big, juicy, plump butt. And then it looks like it's sitting on a dick, but I can't really be like, like not quite sure. It's really weird, man. This is a weird place. I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> You're gonna get rid of it? <laughs> I would get rid of I, the window. I can't see. I started like uh. <laughs> I, I ate a little bit of a of a gumby and then came on here and Sam showed me alien pussy butts. Oh, I'm you're high? Like, nah, not really. But like, I took like an anxiety one. You know, no, it's illegal stuff here. It's you know. It's Anyways, still I'm a, high as I'm high. a little slow right now. You seem flustered. Well, that just, uh, that was a, oh man. <laughs> Alien butts. Well, because, okay, so the dick it was sitting on looked like it was coming out of a brain. I don't know, man. There was some, I should have stopped. I should have downloaded, I should have grabbed that picture and sent to you guys later to be like, see, this is why I'm broken now. <laughs> it, it's, it's pretty, pretty futuristic, huh? Yeah, what I'm wondering is how does someone get, okay, the alien that's got like a butt in the front and like, what do you type in to get that? I, it, it, what it does is it has a database of real pornographic pictures and it's like, all right, we're going to find 
every picture that has this kind of thing and every and then they go it basically is the 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 program or the ai going like all right most of these pictures have a butt here <laughs> so that's where the butt's okay. gonna go and it doesn't it doesn't always like make sense as far as like the, there's often not like uh uh contextual uh synchronicity here zach you're being quiet are you looking at the website now no no i'm just <laughs> looking at you guys Zach, um, you're being quiet are you looking at us now someone <laughs> says uh any any traumatic ai porn stories uh yes that one that just happened i don't know how i'm gonna sleep today so <laughs> there you go people are just typing out uh, butt should be here i saw i <laughs> I saw one com the the chat was really fun to watch while we were doing that because I saw mm -hmm. one comment that was like skip and then another one like a few things down that said let him finish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, <laughs> I don't know. It's like uh, I don't know. You just know that that technology, like we were saying, it's gonna get used for something fucked up eventually. You know, I mean, some of that's fucked up, but it's like. It seems harmless, I guess, but yeah, I don't know. Someone says, "Did he came?" Yes, Did I he came. came. Did he came? <laughs> Did he came? You, is that how you say it during sex? Like, "Did you came yet?" I came. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, came. I'm gonna came. Uh, we shouldn't mock people. Okay. Someone says alien porn is harmless. Well, I mean, sure. Why? I mean, what's it gonna? You know, someone wants to jack it to aliens. Who are we to judge, right? But what if the aliens are only five years old? Oh, that's their, that's there's their a good point. Though. Okay, what so mature, what if every day an alien gets like really mature? So a five-year-old alien is really like near the end of its life. Whoa. Miss, Mr. Slipman's that. in the tub said, S Sam, did anyone bring up Nate's Twitch getting taken? Yes, that's yeah, how we got on about. this. Catch up. God. So, Zach, God. You're, kind of, you're kind of being a devil's advocate on the uh, on the alien age because you're saying it could be five is old for an alien, but they would still be five years old, right? Well, what if they come from a planet where, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a solar day is like the equivalent of like 25 years? Sure. You know, yeah. and so this this alien is like, I'm five. You're like, whoa, jailbait. And it's like, no, no, I'm like basically a hundred of your of your Earth years. And you're like, oh shit, like you're too old for me. Yeah, I guess I oh, need like sorry. a one year old. Sorry, I don't jerk like, it to old. And you start googling, you know, into one year old, you know, to date, and then the cops come and you have to explain the whole problem with the circumference of a planet and what it means with the rotational drive and all of these things. And the, yeah. they don't care. They're not thinking on that level you know the, uh, and now you're now you're in handcuffs in what sam what were you gonna say no I, I just you have to explain to them you're like guys guys first let me start off my whole like my my arousal to things it's it's it, my sexual drive it's all like a power game for me you know yeah uh yeah. <laughs> i'm really into dom sub stuff okay and anyway oh my god uh, that's the planet uh, Gary Glitter in the uh, R. Kelly Nebula, right? That's where yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know about the age, just jerk it. Mm -hmm. uh, someone said that, someone said, wow, this stream's really gone downhill since since Trevor left. Well, I mean, yeah, Trevor left, and then we also got really sad. So that's right. the other thing that changed. And, <laughs> is, uh, is, uh, every, everyone else on the chat has been just really sad since then so uh. right also <laughs> suck our butts <laughs> right <laughs> where do you go we don't someone know. implicate says wow chat yeah you know that's wow, something we say enough is wow chat wow whore town <laughs> wow where did trevor go anyways good question we, yeah that's what we're all trying to figure out he it? thought it was a chemical released in your brain after you die that's what he told me once but we Wait, were Trevor probably so drunk. What? Trevor said, what was the chemical? Well, one time we were talking about the afterlife, and he said something about how he thinks there's a chemical that your brain releases only after your heart stops beating or something, yeah. and that it causes euphoria or something, which, yeah, uh, you know, not the worst theory. 
Ooh. Resident Evil says he went to South America with Tupac and Elvis and Chris Farley. Yeah. Jay Stino says shotgun one for Trevor Timmy. I am drinking sparkling water. <laughs> I think I told you guys the story about when I shotgun a bunch of orange soda on stage once, right? Nope. Oh. Okay, so when I was li- huh? No, it, well, no. So when I was living in Portland, it was right after my kid was born, and uh, I was friends with this guy that hosted a live uh, talk show, and he hosted as like this character named Ed Foreman, and he hosted this like live talk show thing. And it was in a place uh, that was also like a strip club burlesque thing. So they had like cages, like for cage dancers. But the, during this talk show, the, the cages were normally empty. So on this episode, I go on and it was a, a, just a couple weeks or so after my daughter was born. And uh, one of the guys from Jackass is getting interviewed, Danger Aaron. So he's getting interviewed and they like just kind of talk and then he's done. And so then I come out, I'm the next guest and he's talking to me and he's like, well, since you're a dad now, you have to be responsible. So uh, we were going to make you chug beer, but we're going to, uh, instead, how about you just chug uh, a bunch of orange soda? So I did. I don't know if you've ever chugged soda, but it's way worse than chugging beer because it's so uh, 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 carbonated, carbonated. You know? And like, I just instantly started throwing up foam. And so then later they put a lady in one of the dancing girl cages with a huge beer bong, like long, long, long tube down to me. And started pouring orange soda in that. I was just like chugging orange soda. And it was horrible. And I'd like, you know, I barfed again on stage. And, or right off stage, maybe. I can't remember what happened, but man. And, you know, so we're like doing these stunt things. And then I said at the end, I'm like, wait, you're making me do all this, but you could, but the jackass guy got to just talk? <laughs> yeah. And apparently he got mad at me about that. I heard later, he's like, he didn't like that you said that. I'm like, it's like it's a very there's uh, no way he could have gotten mad about that well i know well then the guy that told me that is friends with him but was also kind of like whatever but i was like well i mean it's an observational joke i mean hello it's it's right there it's not even that clever but anyway so shotgunning orange soda sucks don't do it who are who are the two guys in jacket the danger aaron and then there's another guy that's like kind of a similar level as danger aaron rake not rake um um dave uh dave england Dave England. Dave England, yeah. He always does the pooping stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I think my favorite part of the new movie was when they were doing that lights out thing with Danger, Aaron, and Dave. That was the best. And but, That was like, the, so uh, good. Yeah, that was I, great. I, I forget if it was Dave or, I Danger, Aaron, or Dave, but one of them was like smart enough to be like, don't go in the room. It's not going to be good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that was my favorite. Oh. Was, was that he was like, like that level of self-aware where he was oh. like, no, don't, like don't. <laughs> I, I mean, if I was in that prank, if they were doing that to me, I would fucking melt down. It's so <laughs> terrifying. Cause you like when they tied him to the chair and a bear came in and he had salmon tape. Oh on, my it's like, God. How do you even begin to handle that? Like, like that is dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure that the that's odds are up. low that the bear is going to hurt you, but like, it's, it's possible. It's very possible. Yeah. Like, th- those guys go too far sometimes, man. Yeah, like, dude. I mean, fuck. yeah. <laughs> Look at Knoxville with the Knoxville with the bullfighting. It's like, dude, this guy's yeah. like he came like, this he, close to death like four damaged times. Damaged his brain. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I think I think there there has to be some level of like CTE that he experiences, right? Right. Like, oh yeah, uh, I think he has like r- residual depression. I heard Willis McGillis once says it's like there's some sort of jackasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh You're right. My God. Touche. Uh, like this one of the sentences, movies, uh, man. They, I, they, and the rewatchable, uh, yeah, they're, they're so rewatchable, like they're all of it, they really yeah. hold up, they're awesome, yeah. You know what? They were so they were such a big deal, you know, early 2000s. Um, when I uh, when I was uh, first dating a lady that I was married to for a little bit, when I first met her dad, and she's like, Timmy's working on a sketch comedy show on TV, he goes, Sketch comedy, does that mean you uh, run into each other with shopping carts? <laughs> Because it's like, that's what everybody, just jackass, yeah. everybody thought that's yeah. what, like, comedy groups did. I was like, no. Yeah, and, and the the show that Jim Biederman produced after us or during us was uh, Rad Girls, which was like a female jackass. Right. On, oh, my God, uh, the Rad Girls. Oh, I forgot about that. Fuse. Rad Girls. 
Didn't they make us? Uh, didn't we do some sort of little promo with them where we pretended to play Spin the Bottle or not Spin the Bottle, Truth or Dare? I think you guys did. I wasn't there for some reason. I think so. I, I never met we the rad like, girls. I, <laughs> I, I never we met the rad like girls. Dicks yeah. to the rad girls. I think we were like. Uh, were we mean to the rad girls? No, you would. I know. I thought they were cool. I probably had crushes on them. Because he yeah. probably had like cool hair and piercings, and you know, I probably had a big crush on him. And that was the year you you really hadn't talked to very many girls at that point in your life, right? There. Just a couple, you know. I just moved what to South. Yeah. I just, just moved from South Dakota, and I was like, "Who are all these people that can't grow beards and all these like nice lumps in their yeah. clothes?" And you guys, you guys like, for those are girls. You guys have a lot of Tammies here. <laughs> like what? You know, like Tammy from Watertown. <laughs> that girl. You got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my! Uh, one thing I say on stage a lot to when I'm doing stand up in South Dakota is just like uh, I can't remember how I get into it, but I always say, "Welcome to South Dakota, where all the women are beautiful." And they start cheering and go, "And married," because just like everybody, like everybody's married. And when I ask about like kids, I'm like, "So you guys are all here, so you have kids, right?" Because fucking everybody has kids. You know what I mean? It's just wow. Like, yeah. So if I were to move to Watertown, South Dakota tomorrow, because something terrible happened to me. <laughs> um, That's why I moved back. Yeah. You know, so it's fine. So, so, so I live there. I'm single. Let's say I'm single. Yeah. Okay. You're, what, what, you're what, defamed. What am I looking at here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm defamed. I'm, I'm single. I'm barbarian direct, defamed barbarian director Zach Krager moves back to Watertown. He's not famous anymore. Uh, uh, not that I'm famous. Oh but, yeah. The, okay. uh, so what, what what what's it like for me? What am I doing? Am I I get on I get on Tinder? Am I going to have the same three women? Yes. Yeah. So dating life, I don't know, man. And plus, I've been, I, I I never dated here. The couple relationships I've been in since I moved back were long distance. So it's like I never really dated here. But uh, you go to the bar, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know. That's gotta uh, be bleak. I bet huh? the women that hang out at the bar there. No, you don't. Uh, it's, it's people bleak, still have right? the radar blip bangs from the '80s at the bar. You know what I mean? Like, you know. Wait, what does that mean? You know, the the, the, the kind of bouncy bangs in the front that people, ladies, had in like the '80s and '90s. Are you kidding? Yeah, there's now, some people now, are fucking I, I know lost that I here. I must sound like such an elitist coastal prick, but that's insane. I, it's insane. No, the most of the like people here know it's insane too, of, but it's still under there. the age of seventy have that. I don't know, man. There's yeah, it's, it's well, just like there's just. There's still like, I don't know, there's like this haircut, uh, older ladies get to like a short haircut that they've all been getting for like fucking a hundred years, you know what I mean? And like, there's other haircuts like that. But uh, the Tinder thing that you were mentioning, I did, you know, I've occasionally, uh, being single here, occasionally have tried Tinder or the other ones, and it's like, it's mostly bots. <laughs> it really is. It's really? like you know, It's like a girl in a bikini with a fish. And like you swipe on it, I like know it's fake, but I'm like, let's see what happens. You swipe on it, and they send you a message immediately, you know. And then I, I would always respond just inviting them to have lasagna or like some kind of other food, and then like you know that they, they don't respond because I didn't give them my credit card number. But they're definitely bots if they're not responding to the lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't? Who? Come on. Oh, didn't respond to my lasagna. Must be a bot. Um... Or normal. Man, I'm, I'm going to move to South Dakota and I'm going to open up a, a salon and make everyone beautiful. Because everyone's going you to... You have way too much pride in your own view on haircuts. Everyone's going to cheap clips and getting their cheap clip haircuts or quick clips. What is well, it? let me tell you who goes to great clips, Sam. It's not like everybody. There's lots of salon, like real salons here that people go to. Everybody there, when I was there, was like an old guy... Or like some dude with his little young boy who was gonna the boy's just gonna get his head you know buzzed or whatever, and then me. It was like I was like the only like not kid or old person getting my hair cut. So that's like what that is. There was a there was an old lady sitting near me who was waiting. She was still waiting when I left. And I was like, what the fuck is she gonna do? And she was like, she was like, she like she looked like she was eighty five years old. She was watching YouTube videos and like good for you, and. uh <laughs> I don't know what kind of haircut she got, but uh, 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 hey Sam, guess what? Wait, real what, quick. What? Uh, guess what I saw yesterday? What? Who? Fucking Eddie Murphy, dude. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah. You know what he's up to these days, dude? He was well, working he was... at the PetSmart 
on Western right there. He was like, <laughs> he rang me up. I was getting dog food. Fucking oh. Eddie Murphy works at PetSmart. So what I, did he? I uh, don't think that was Eddie Eddie Murphy, and I think does this, he still have that was. same haircut? I think when you say yes. it's Eddie Murphy, it's problematic. Why? Because <laughs> I don't like think how, it was Eddie Murphy. Don't you remember Eddie that Murphy. year where you he had the mustache and everything? <laughs> what what? Color this reminds me of that year, uh, that time, that year how, when Zach said he met, met met Michael Jordan five times in one summer. We we're like, mm. Eddie Murphy works at PetSmart. You should go go tomorrow. Buy buy dog food there. You'll see him. <laughs> And this is also weird. He got like a huge neck tattoo, which is insane. But he has it. And he was just. I guess on, he's done. He's done acting. Apparently, he was just on the Golden Globes. He was just on the Globes. Well, this was this was today. So, oh. in the in the well, interim, Sam, he got a neck. Here's tattoo a good question: Did he win a Golden Globe? Globe? Did he win uh, a Golden Globe? Did did uh, no? He got a Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, See, that's not worth any money. That's why he's at PetSmart now. Uh, now just I'm going out on a limb here. Uh, was was his skin dark or, or was it lighter than? It's you would Eddie think? Murphy, Sam. I don't know what you're trying to bait me into. It was fucking Eddie Murphy. He had a mustache. I know what he looks like. He had a mustache. So what? 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 Like, how would you describe his skin? Eddie Murphy ish. <laughs> like Eddie Murphy. Okay. Wait, do you think Eddie Murphy is the name of a race of people? (laughs) Oh my god. All right, well. Look, I'm just Uh, saying he had a mustache and he works at PetSmart and he has a new neck tattoo. I'm a proud supporter of the Eddie Murphy Americans. He was black, Uh, right? He was black, right? Yeah, that's that's the same strategy. All right, all right. Oh my god. You think I. Jesus. He has gained a ton of weight. Some people are saying this is the Forrest Whitaker sketch. Was that the Forrest Whitaker? He has gained, he has gained a massive he has, amount of weight. I saw him on TV. I'm telling you, he has. I just wait. saw him today. I just I saw, saw him. Wait, was he today. on TV? Was it, was it real fat or was he wearing a, like a clump suit? One of that's the clumps. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, that's good. Maybe How many clump suits? Suit. Do you think he kept at least one? What, what if he kept one? more than one? This is the one person where you could be like, yeah, it's Hollywood magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he played a white guy in SNL once. He could do anything. Yeah. Oh, what a, that's a great sketch. The the When he's the white guy and goes on the bus, it's yeah. like a fancy yeah. dinner party. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. What are you doing? Where do, why are you paying for this? There's, there's no black paper. Just take it. Just take it. The newspaper. <laughs> That's such a good sketch. That's funny. And one that's still like a hundred percent relevant too, you know. Yeah. Um Someone says this is a good joke. Someone says he's from the land of Eddie Murph, which is why Zach says he looks Eddie Murph E. <laughs> oh, and did he play a Jewish man in Coming to America? Well, although Tax Ship called it Coming in America, that's a different movie. <laughs> Was there a porn called that? Somebody missed the boat if they didn't do that. I mean, get on the AI. Let's see it. I don't know, man. I don't need to see any more front butts today. <laughs> Green ones. Oh, you know what? One thing I got in my stock for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So is AI going to get good enough that we're going to start having porn parody movies that do deep fakes of the real oh, actors and actresses of things. Does this mean we can make more, make new sketches with Trevor? Is that what that's going to mean? Ooh, maybe. We could probably put all of the sketches. <laughs> what a disrespectful, horrible idea. We could I mean... put all the sketches. Oh, he would love it. Uh... Yeah, right. He would love it. <laughs> you're right. That's use... totally, you're totally right. Put all our sketches into a, a like one of these AI writing programs and make a new season of the show or make a new episode. Um, with can you just go ahead and it. just go ahead and AI me too. I'm not going to come. All right. You're not, exactly. you're not talking about using paid. AI to make new uh, whitest kids stuff with Trevor. I think didn't somebody use AI to write a whitest kid sketch and it was like kind of okay. 
Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't see this. If someone, I feel has like I this, saw it on Reddit. Or if something. that was on Reddit, uh, some I, I want to see that right now. Someone says AI porn would have helped Trevor's catfishing skills. I disagree oh. as someone who he did try to catfish because, I mean, I, I figured I was Trevor pretty quickly, but he was using pictures of real people. Like these AI things, they don't look, they look a little off. It's that uncanny valley, you know? So I don't think uh, they would help a catfisher. At this point, maybe they'll get better. Someone says you guys read one on stream once, an AI generated way to skip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I thought we did. Oh. Ring a bell. Someone says they have weird hands. No. <laughs> they have weird hands. Um, what else is new? You guys want to? Um, I got a little bit of fan art. Want to look Ooh. Through? Throw it up. Oh, check Even donos. Up. Oh yeah, check dono. I don't you know got if it. Donos you don't need to do it. Oh, donos are all screwed up. Oh my up, god, yeah. it's been a month. But well, Nate did a test one here the other day though. It's, it showed up. Yeah, that that was the last one we got before they shut down our oh, PayPal. Okay, it's been two weeks. Hmm. All right. Well, let's check it out. Or what am I? What am I doing? Oh yeah. Okay. So, uh, where we go? Are you gonna give me the screen, Sam? I forget how we do this. Is that what you're gonna do? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll... Let me know when you're ready. Uh, oh, this is my movie labels. That's not right. Okay. Uh, Here we go. Yeah, did you see these, Zach? There's some pretty good ones. My favorite that Margaret and I made is this This right here. Scum. What's that for? The Society of Cutting Up Men? No, no, no. It's for... Uh, what is that? What are you talking about? The woman who shot Andy Warhol was a member of this ultra-feminist movement the... called Scum Society for really? Cutting Up Men, oh. which is super cool. Hold on, let me... Uh... It, it kept like a fucking... Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, no, it's like uh, these are mov movie categories. I want to make like an old-school video store. So uh, Scum, you can see past there. I think I told you guys about this already. I'm sorry. But there's no, no, like... But a... what's, what's back there? So Cheap Thrills, because uh, I've had that for years. A Deadbeat at Dawn, very scumbag Wait, movie. Wait, Cheap Thrills, the movie Sarah's in? Yeah. I oh, bought cool. that a long time ago. Because, um... Did you buy it before you knew Sarah? I don't think so. I think you mentioned she was in it, and I wanted to watch it, because I love, um... Oh, who's our buddy that's in the star? Pat, you know? Pat Healy, yeah. And yeah, no, it's good, and I just, like, hung on to it. I haven't watched it in a long time, but um but wild things is in there you know uncut gems so that's scum to me you know and i like about, my, why is no country for old men in scum i kind of well because i didn't put it in criminals i kind of think it's more about scumbags sort of i don't know but the thing is is like there's a lot of that you know like uh variables there's a lot of movies that could go in different places so i don't know that one i could maybe put in a i have a crooks i have a crooks category i think but there's guns and muscles. There's aliens. So my daughter drew the alien egg. Fists and feet, which is, uh, you know, martial arts. And Hong Kong, which is like uh, hard boiled and stuff like that. But anyways, let's look at some fan art. But I like that. I've been wanting to do that forever. That's why I wanted to show it off. Um, are we good to go, Sam? Give me two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Uh, I mean, keep talking. Rosalind Danklin says fists and feet could also be a porn category. Ooh. Ralph Wiggum says no country for old men is kind of pseudo intellectual. No offense, Zach. What the fuck are you talking? About? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> People are so weird. Uh, someone said <laughs> B Day Thirty Eight asks what category is Aquamarine in? Okay, look, I'm not buying all of Zach's wife's movies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Sarah Aquamarine is under aliens because I feel like she's more of an alien than a magical creature. So. Um, all right. Okay, now I'm ready. Is it weird seeing people you know in things? Add uh, not anymore. Um, uh, okay, okay, we're doing fan art now. Okay, so all hail Gibson has this one. It's like, uh, it's a butter bar like ad. I like uh. it. Yeah, see, and I like there's the outline of the dead of kid. Bar favorite part of butter bar is when the little kid goes oh my little heart i'm having a little heart attack 
like a little heart attack. And what's the other line? Uh, I can hear my blood pumping in my little ears. See, yeah, that's good. That kid was fucking great. He was so good at that. Yeah. It's fu- it's funny that there's an outline there because that implies he was murdered. He died. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he or was he murdered by you and Trevor's person. characters. Yeah, I guess. It was yeah, foul it's... play. Basically. Uh, they, okay, they so this, this guy has another one that this is great. Oh, yeah. Oh. Her breasts swell like the ocean. <laughs> what a funny sketch. It's so, like, funny not, I'm just saying it's like a weird sketch, but. Yeah, it's definitely not funny. It's kind it's of peculiar. Funny. I haven't seen <laughs> it in a long time. <laughs> I, I will say this. Without the text, I probably would not get the text, but that image is a fucking tattoo. Yeah. That's a great tattoo. Have you have you seen a manatee in real life before? Yeah. No, it's, just the backs, like at a in a lagoon by my friend's house, just their backs and they like come up to the to the surface, you know. It's funny, in like the Florida Keys, like everyone has like docks off their house mm-hmm. and manatees just like swim up to them. Yeah, that's where I was, man. You remember my friend Blake, right, Sam? He yeah. uh, lives by Tampa, and I was visiting once maybe 10 years ago. And yeah, there was a little lagoon by his house that can, comes in from the Gulf. And yeah, they were just like, you could just see him like kind of blow, like kind of float up the backs of the manatees. Like, yeah, there's, there's the manatees hanging out. We were like, okay. <laughs> you know? When we were staying oh, at No Darren's... natural predators. That's funny. Oh. No, like... not true. When we were staying at Darren's father in law's place in Florida, he was like, He's like, one morning, he like woke me up. I swear to God, like 5 a.m. The sun hadn't even risen. He was like, Zach, he like shook me awake. He's like, let's go. You got to see this. So I like followed him. We get in the elevator. We go down. We go to the little marina thing. He's got this little like lunchbox with him, right? We go to the edge of the pier. And he's like, I'm like, what are, what are we doing here? Why are we here, Doug? He's like, you got to watch this. And he opens his little lunchbox. There's a loaf of bread and a fucking hand can. And he starts ripping the bread up and throwing the bread in the thing. And I'm like, what is, Doug, what are we doing? Like, I'm so hungover. I'm so tired. He's like, just shh, watch. And a fucking manatee comes up out of the dark. It starts eating the bread. And it's huge. It's bigger than a cow. It's like the size of a cow, but like swimming. The sea fat. cow. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's a sea cow. So it's like doing the thing. And he goes, I'm like, I, I was just weirded out just to see this massive thing, like right, you know, four feet away. And then he goes, watch what this thing can do. And he goes, <laughs> And he, I tell you, dude, it was like a fucking grenade went off. And it was like chunks and blood and brains and skull, like, were in the air. And he was like, how fucking, he's like, you want to try? And I was like, no, I don't want to fucking try. He's like, okay, don't tell Darren. I was like, okay. And then what? we went back, we got in the elevator, and I like went back to bed. The sun was up, and I was just like, that was fucking creepy as hell. Anyway, <laughs> don't tell Darren. Did that really happen? Sam, Sam Hamish 808 said, Welp, rip the VOD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So weird. Wow. I'm going to move on. We'll see what, what crime Zach has witnessed for the next fan art. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> that was a tattoo. Dead Space got this. He, he had his tattoo designer draw it up. But what a fucking funny I tattoo. Love I love Look it. Look at that. He's got the wizard I hat on one of his bizarre skin. facial hair. Yeah, on the dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. It looks about as natural on the dinosaur as it did on Trevor. <laughs> you got to send that to to Amy, dude. Oh yeah, I shall send yeah. her that one. That's a good idea. It's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, it's got like like its expression is a very Trevor expression. Yeah, it's good. I really like it. Um, okay, so Debs uh, from Discord submitted this one. So this is a picture that got around a lot. Uh, you know, um, mm-hmm. they, they put it on the pins and stuff. You know what that picture is from? That was a picture my buddy Amber from here took when she visited us like 2003 or four when we when Trevor and I were living together. And it was the time that we like, uh, I made that chili and it made him burp weird for like a month. But uh, anyway, so that's that Wait, picture. What? That- what? <laughs> You guys remember that i made this really spicy chili and like for a month afterwards whenever trevor Burr was like ah it was a really weird sound like ah, he's like fuck? i think it broke me and then it stopped i'm like i don't know what was happening there but yeah. the, anyways 
Anyways, this picture that everybody likes was a friend of mine kind of randomly took it and we just ended up with it somewhere. So, yeah. The sword there is the sword that I eventually used to, like, try and stab whatever was coming through Trevor's wall at the Queen's house. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that was crazy. What was it? I don't know. It was a homeless person. (laughs) In Trevor's walls? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. And Sam was like, I'll take care of it. And, he's, <laughs> and the guy's like screaming in some other language. Damn, that was weird. Here. All I could I, all I could make out was he was like, let me out. And I was like, oh, Trevor has this guy trapped in his wall. <laughs> <laughs> let me well, that was a, it with a sword. That was a weird thing about um, being in New York with Sam. Because Sam always wanted to stab homeless people. We're like, Sam, just let them be. Like, they're thinking, and, you know, you're always trying to stab them. It's like, dude, chill out. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, so we did, we talked about a crime for that art too. Okay. So, uh, Dismal Environment did this, uh, this isn't called macrame. What do you call it? Crochet? No. What do you call that? Not crochet. Uh, uh embroidery? Needlepoint. Needlepoint? needlepoint. needlepoint? Oh, yeah. Okay. Listen to the woman, John. I like that. Calm down. Just calm down. It looks like oh, they I had like an Abraham Lincoln pattern and then added that. Listen to the woman, John. <laughs> oh, there you go. He did it. He did it. He hey, I did nailed it. it. Okay, it, here's a, look at this one. I love this. <laughs> this songs wow. from the olden times. Yeah. Cross stitch. Someone said. Cross stitch. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Uh, disaster. It's like cross stitch, but harder. <laughs> cross stitch. A word with three s's. Didn't one of those Crossfit. Ben Affleck Batman movies wasn't Batman doing CrossFit in one scene, like train, like throwing around a tire to trade and stuff like that? I remember them. I remember there was like a CrossFit Batman at some point. I thought that was funny because he's a billionaire, but he bought a tractor tire. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, so, <laughs> I love that. I like that one. You know what's weird? So my grandfather uh, would do portraits of people. He did, he did some portraits of us kids when we were babies and stuff. And um, this kind of looks like how he, I don't know, like, because in that I look very much Williams like him, you know? I normally, people say I look like my mom, but uh, I don't know, for some reason, look just like my grandpa to me here. He had a mohawk. Um, so <laughs> uh, so this one is- right? Yeah. Yeah, he was in the offspring. He's fucking punk. <laughs> Yeah, he was needles. <laughs> noodles, noodles. Noodles. <laughs> you got to keep them separated. Uh, this, someone, someone, made, someone made a tarot card of Trevor. I think this is great. Guard, guard the bunny made it. Sorry, the names aren't all these. Um, so I like that a lot. Very cool. uh, the greatest guy. Uh, which si- which sign is that? Means. standing? It's, yeah, anybody that d- uh, knows tarot, uh, what's, what uh, card is that uh, s- sitting in for? Like if you get that card, what what's, what's it mean is going to happen? Yeah, JG Art World says, oh man, a WKK tarot set would be would rule so hard. That is a great idea. That would be my, awesome. My I daughter just that. got uh, some tarot cards from my sister, who's like a witchy kind of person. And like, uh, so we're learning a little bit about it. But yeah, they're cool. It'd be awesome. You know, six of pentacles. Well, there's six pentacles on it. All right. Oh, a lot of people are saying that. Okay. So whatever that means. So anyways, Guard the Bunny made this, and then somebody was like, I like this, and contacted Guard the Bunny, and Getting High Whoa! Dinosaurs got the tattoo. Whoa. So and that's a hell? pretty that fucking- That is a big tattoo. That well, here's the thing. Is that tat. a torso, or is that an arm or that something? Like I couldn't... A, uh, I'm, I'm seeing a back, but maybe I'm wrong. I think oh, it's back, a back, yeah. dude. Okay, yeah, so to me, it looks like the back of a torso, right? Very cool. All Which right. would be huge. <laughs> Wow. That's like an almost life-size Trevor, right? That's amazing. Six of coins. The greatest guy. Oh, you seen that, Sammy? Go ahead and read it. Uh, Six of coins, the card of charity. It usually shows a noble giving money to the poor and or holding a scale of justice. It's bad meaning can also mean a person who gives too much of themselves selfless to the point of destruction. Interesting choice for Trevor. Yeah, especially that last part. Uh, um, so there's another chunk of fan art we can get to. It requires some storytelling, but um, because and I know the person that made it has been wanting me to show this for a long time, so I'm going to do it. Um, so uh, I don't know, like four or five months ago, Zach and I were doing SSS, just the two of us, and we were looking at fan art. And, you know, we had some, uh, I had picked out some fan art. I kind of grabbed everything. And I, I uh, 
had showed some fan art that was just like little scribbles. And you remember this, Zach? And you're like, I don't think this should count as fan art. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I stand so, by it. Yeah, no, and, and I stand by it too. Uh, so Lydia Petunia, who is, she's a valued member of Whore Town. She's done a lot of great art. And um, here's an, an example. I'll start with an example of her great art. Give me a second. Uh, so, you know, you've seen lots of Lady Petunia's art like oh, this. Oh, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she does a lot of very detailed paintings and stuff. So once Zach said that he doesn't like uh, sketches, the, the quick little drawings on notebook paper or whatever, and I agree with you, but you've got all the heat on that for some reason. So she had has been putting up a series it. of, like, little sketches to troll you. So there's one. <laughs> But that right there is already better than what I was railing against. Well, that's the thing is she's just, well, I was going to say that too. She can't help it. She can't well, she, help yeah, it. she's just very she talented. So she's trying to make bad sketches, but they're still great. So, but I'd like to have a bug snack shirt on. Um, and your dog oh, says, okay, okay. Oh, that's a drawing of me. Okay. Right. Yeah. See, yeah. Uh, what is that? What is what? Wait, go back. What is the dog saying? Is it, is it bad? I wipe my wet? butt on your rug. Yeah. He's done that before. Uh, it, all dogs okay. do that, right? Don't dogs do that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this means. It's a cat eating pizza that says, thanks, dad. This does feel time wasty. Not sure this belongs on the stream. OK. <laughs> it was one of the, it had something to do with a Trevor story, I think. I don't know. Anyways, this is. Uh, this one I get. OK, yeah, Trevor, obviously. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Boinga. 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 OK, Boinga. so. I think the thing that says, it makes it bad is because it's misspelled. Uh, that's funny. I think that's supposed to be Augie. Yeah, that's definitely all you uh, Wow. Is that TOS? Anyways, uh, this is supposed to be like, is, oh, Zach, like your locker? Oh, that's like my senior yearbook page because I put that quote on my senior, like in our senior page, you get to make all these things. And I put that, that quote is from the subhumans, which is a terrible quote. Wow, this person really got a lot right. I had a, two hands handing off dynamite. I did not have the misfits. I had a quote from the exorcist on, which maybe is that thing on the left there. No Ramones, no Bad Brains. The thing on the no, left looks it's, like it's a screenplay. J Jinko? Yeah, it's probably that's probably my my Exorcist quote, or no, it's Texas Chainsaw. I'm not Exorcist. I had a quote from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, Jinko, like the jeans. Zach's school yeah, picture. It was not a, I don't think so. I don't think that was on there. Wait, did you have a one that said ska? No, I hated. That was not. <laughs> no. That's definitely a ribbon, yeah. Uh, this, this is you too about you talking about your hair that time everybody loved your hair. So, oh my God, stop! No, my hair is so ugly. It's not even cute. It's like so fluffy and something slicked back. Slick back. It looks like a oh a fluffy yeah. mobster. I remember fluffy. That. Well, like honestly, oh, is it cute? So that's me. Okay, right. Because yeah. I'm always obsessed with my hair. When you put I don't the know stuff what this in is. your hair. Oh yeah, and I was like totally like geeking out. I was like, no, like here, please, no, oh my god, stop. <laughs> and then, this is something about oh, hey. <laughs> That's my buddy Phil waking up in my mom. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh hey Mr. Vega, how's it going? I'm back from the jet store. <laughs> that's good. Oh, so that's the story then. See, and I, I think got that cat bone thing structure a... like a cat. That cat like thing a cat. was a Dude, I hope he never watches this stream because he will get mad. Phil? <laughs> Oh man! I told and you then, that cat oh, and thing she, in confidence. And then she did this. This has nothing to do with you, but this is uh, when I had the fat cat. So that's a good. I like that little logo. That's good. Look at so Carlotta lives in. My sister moved to Atlanta, and uh, she brought Carlotta with her because Carlotta was her cat. So now uh, Carlotta lives like in a place where obesity is, you know, accepted in the South. Oh, shots fired. Wait, Timmy, did you just take a shot at a, at a region of the United States? Yeah, a little bit. Wow. Well, no, I'm just saying, you know, Whoa. it's like, the, it's, oh, a city that makes right. Coca, it's a city that makes Coca-Cola, you know? Wow. It's and like we do have fat people here too, but not as near, not as many as people think, so. Are people not obese in South Dakota? Of course there's obese people in South Dakota, come on. You can't say, you can't make a funny little joke. I mean, come on, the, the sound, well, funny is up to you. But uh, I made a little joke. And uh, 
obesity is like uh, in the South has always been a thing. Punish Waller says Timmy Zom- Zom- North Zom- Dakota. Sanders no, says, I don't. You were better than that shame. <laughs> what now? Uh, Zombie Sanders says Timmy, you were better than that. Were better than that shame. Past tense. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wow. whatever, it's whatever makes day. me it's have dark. to, whatever makes know. me have to stop reading chat. Timmy's fall from grace. <laughs> wow. Um. Mark your calendars, everybody. But a lot of people are saying, uh, several people are like, "But you live in North Dakota, so you can." It's like, well, I don't live there, so I'm getting me in that a lot lately. It's like we talk of shit on South Dakota like all the time. People just don't doesn't register. I have never talked shit on South Dakota. Love the record show. I have You're never. Right. You. You're a big fan of it. I mean, you just said earlier tonight that you'd move here if you could. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like if something awful, if something like truly terrible happened to me, yeah. then I would. You know, you could get a job at the convent. That's uh, my ex-wife is the cook there now. You could go up there and make breakfast for nuns. Oh God. I but uh, you know, do if I despite in living country. in a cultural vacuum and a political wasteland, I. Uh, you know, I'm doing all right. I have, you know, I, I I like my place. I like what I'm doing for work here, you know, so it's good. It's just like there's a, you know, you get out to places like this. It's just the, uh, everywhere has rednecks. Even urban centers have like fucking. Dude, Hillary. LA has rednecks. Exactly. You go 20 minutes that way and you're, you're in the Well, but even in, even in cities, there's people who still have shitty, ignorant frame of minds. And I call them rednecks too. You know what I mean? And but but he in a place like this, I feel like there's just a the percentage is just so out of whack. You know what I mean? That's the problem. You know, it's like uh, like eighty five percent, and that's. I don't think of rednecks as being ignorant. I think you can be a woke redneck. Yeah, you can be. Well, you know what I mean. I mean it's just like I guess it's just ignorant people. But you know what I mean. But um, in in this situation where Zach has to move to Watertown, South Dakota. Yes. Something horrible oh. happened. Uh, yeah, what, what really think, awful. What do you think Zach does for a career? Well, there's a lot of like wow. machine shops. You want to like work on bikes or something? You can work on bikes. I'd probably just run something. I just pick an industry. I just like run it. <laughs> but uh, I mean, no, I know what I, I'd be the mayor. I'd be the mayor. Don't I hold on, hold mayor. on, hold on. You don't. You don't want to say that. Well, first of all, the I mayor here the mayor. is just a figurehead. Because we have a city nope. manager, which actually does I'd do the that decisions. I do both. The mayor just drives around. He's like a little asshole. Yeah, he's a, whatever. He's a little guy. Are you who, looking over your shoulder like the mayor's gonna be like, you fucking? You never me. fucking know, man. Anyways, it's a small <laughs> place. He could the be right there. He could be on stream. House. He's probably uh, <laughs> like, you don't know. He could be Dorcas Horabilis. Like he could be backup salmon. He could be like, JSBX oh fan. You don't know. Anyways, he drives yeah. around his convertible and acts like he's a big fucking deal. But uh, so you could do that, but I don't think he has to do anything. It's not so. that he has to. Does he make money doing it? I think so. So it's really a pretty salad gig. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll be that. I'll do that. That's what I'll do. I'll be I would man. love it, man. Come on in. That's basically, basically that show Tulsa King, is Sylvester Stallone playing a mobster. And he like goes to Tulsa and then just goes into a weed store and goes, Hey, I run the weed store now. And it's just <laughs> him going to places and being like, Hey, this is mine now. And people being like, okay. You know, is it fucked up? Maybe this is my arrogance or my hubris, but I do feel like if I pick some small town, I'm not even saying what region of America, but I'm saying like, there's gotta be a small town that I can find on a map of America, move there and within 10 years be the mayor. I feel like I could. Do I think it. so. Yeah, I really do. Ten years. I think, yeah, totally. um, you know what? So, totally. like a town like Watertown, I think is maybe a little too big for you to do that in ten years. Like it's twenty-two thousand people, and nepotism is real bad in the politics here. So, uh, but there's like smaller towns where you could absolutely do that. I think. Yeah. I think it's not even like a do. me thing. I think that there's like. Go ahead, Sam. I think you could do like it in Watertown. Be nice. I think you could. I think you could <laughs> drain the Watertown swamp. You know, I think. Yeah. You know, uh, the, the last mayor, the fear. last mayor, kind of tried to do that, but what, 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 Zach? I said I would run a campaign of hate and fear, and I would <laughs> yeah. just like I would plant so much lies about the current regime. Oh, just, have you, uh, have you hard. ever read one sentence about our governor? Because you would fit right in here, man. <laughs> 
Is that Christy Nome is a fucking Nazi piece of shit. Oh, full yeah. of lies. She's yeah. horrible. Yeah, so. and, and I bet no one in Watertown uh, like knows about these AI drawings yet. This AI art yet. We could. Oh yeah, you could do a lot it. of you like. Really score big they don't even have the internet there. I could just fucking <laughs> use my phone and do all this stuff. Yeah, we don't have the internet here. Shut up, Timmy. I'm yeah. making a point. I know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, obviously. Um, um, but yeah, I mean, so okay, so there was a town uh, in North Dakota. Uh, this maybe ten years ago. It was a really small town, and like, just I don't even know if a hundred people lived there. It was a really, really small town, and so uh, some white supremacists like moved there, and basically like got all the government positions, and then at like uh, the next election cycle, a few years later, people were like, "We need other people to come here and run for office because our town is like run by white supremacists." <laughs> but it's also really funny to say, "Hey, I'm a white supremacist." I'm going to take over a town in the middle of North Dakota. It's like, okay, well, who are you going to be supreme about there? It's probably five other white people and that's it. You know what I mean? So like, what? Yeah. I know. It's like at that point, just be you. Like, yeah, it's, it's not like, going to be my, anyone else around. So just like, what's the point? It's you know? so like, funny. And, and like, you know, he's just like, the mayor just wakes up every day, like walks down the street past the three businesses there. We're like, white power and all that shit and people are just like yeah we know steve we know we, it's okay you yeah. know like, it's it's very much like this it's like white power like right yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or it's coast clear yeah okay <laughs> yeah it's like let's yeah you're right that is so what it is we're gonna clear it a whole town where i can come be completely safe to be a racist asshole because there will be no other races there <laughs> And then like like a like a car drives through with like a black family and it there was like oh, 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 oh. and then like they go to the gas station. Everybody be cool. Everybody be cool. The, the, the black family's like, uh, how do we get how do we get to uh, blah blah blah? You know, I'm trying to get over to ninety five. Oh oh oh, 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 right there, make a left. And then, like, and then they get in the car since they drive away. Like, why bro? <laughs> I feel like I was being funnier than I was being. Not really that funny. But, um, <laughs> All right, Timmy, I have a question. Yeah. As someone who grew up in South Dakota, yeah. do you know why North and South Dakota split? Um, no. I, we were the Dakota Territories, and then, uh, you know, South Dakota became a state in 1889, and I don't, I, I think North Dakota was still part of, uh, still territory, and then became their own state after that. I'm not sure why they didn't become one big state. I'm sure I had to learn that in history class, you know, like local history class, but I don't remember anymore. Mm. I, I do you know. know there was somebody, this, this movement did not gain traction, but about 15, 20 years ago, somebody in North Dakota was trying to say that they should get to change the name of their state to Dakota because South Dakota has an unfair advantage in the tourism industry, because we have the word South on our name, so people think it'll be like warm. Mm -hmm. And you have Mount Rushmore. Right, we have Mount Rushmore. But uh, yeah, I, and, and it's all, it's just so funny. Like, dude, nobody thinks that. <laughs> A lot of I, people think we're in the South because it says South Dakota, but I don't think people think it's like nice weather here. You know? I wonder if it's industry. Do you want to know, do you want to know why? It's what? Not it's not industry driven. Oh, oh you what, know why. It's from a, yeah, yeah. It's from a feud that happened. There was a chili cook-off that happened every year right on the line of the border. And, oh, why are you laughing? Oh, you don't think, okay, well, never mind. Fuck it. I'll tell no, you. No, no, no. I'm yeah, enjoying I'll the story. Sam's there laughing. Chili. Too. I'm not, I'm playing it, Sam. I'm playing it, Sam. Oh, I think I it's a funny concerned. story. I think a lot of stuff about the Dakotas is funny. Yeah, because he doesn't respect things that That's he doesn't respect curfew. things that don't have a bunch of racist baseball fans in them. So, anyways, uh, there was a chili cookoff, and okay. the governor won every year. The governor of Dakota at this time it was just right, one just state. Dakota, yep, Dakota. And every year the governor would go. All these people would come and they do their chili cookoff. Blah 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 blah. The governor won every year except this one year. This young, uh, up and coming chili cook. His last name is actually Williams, so you're probably related to this guy. Oh. Um, he made a really good batch of chili, and the governor 
pissed in his pot of chili, like oh, backstage no. at the thing. And they made everybody taste it, and nobody liked the pissy chili, obviously. And <laughs> when they when they called, you know, when the governor won, the Williams guy got so fucking pissed that I don't, I'm just like, I'm, I'm kind of like going out on a limb here. I'm like winging this as I go. And I was like, what can he do? What can he do? And I was like, he uh, gets up on stage and he face fucks. He face fucks the governor. That's what he did. Yeah, right? What? The whole, the whole state of Dakota. And then there was this big civil war. This is, I'm, I'm out of gas. I got nothing. It would be, wouldn't it be I thought crazy? I was and that's like, why, that's why they called my grandpa old Piss Chili Williams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Piss Chili Williams. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, wouldn't it be crazy if everyone liked the piss chili though, you know, like everyone was like, right. damn it. Ooh. And that's why to this day, everyone in Dakota pisses in their food. <laughs> <laughs> so I just looked it up <laughs> the, and, and it's, it's obviously more boring than that. We could just say it's piss chili basically, you know, because South Dakota is a big state land wise. And so is North Dakota. So Dakota territory could decide on a location of the capital. So they're like, okay, we'll split into two states so we can have a capital down here and you can have a capital up there. That's oh. why. Is that really why? Yeah. Wow. Well, because of like landmass wise, we're pretty big states, you know, like once you get west of Minnesota, things get pretty fucking huge. You so know, Alaska landmass. has the most landmass, right? Then Texas? Then I think Texas and California is right in there then too. Then California. Right. Then probably Montana. Montana is fucking gigantic, you know? Mm. You guys remember when we would be on tour and like drive across Montana? It takes like an entire fucking day, you know, <laughs> just to drive across the state. Um, Beautiful but yeah, state, the Dakotas though. have a lot of land. What, Sam? Beautiful state, Montana. Oh yeah, gorgeous. Oh, Montana's great. Sam, what's the ugliest state? What's the ugliest state? Go. The ugliest state, probably um, uh, Delaware. Sure. I was gonna say my gut said Ohio. No, it's not Delaware. Ohio. Oh, really? uh, I was going to say like, Arkansas, but I think there's probably a lot of mountains and beauty in Arkansas. No, I think Arkansas is pretty. Oh, you're talking about like land prettiness. Some people are saying New Jersey land because prettiness. they haven't driven through any part of New Jersey, New Jersey that's not a town. Yeah. New Jersey has actually got a lot of beauty in it. Yeah. It you get out of the cities. Yep. Uh, um, the, the whole New Jersey's garbage thing is like, bah, what is this, an airplane food joke? Come on. Um an ugly state. I feel is Florida ugly? Is no. that a weird is that a hot take? I mean I there's know. ugliness there, but I feel like there's a lot of great stuff in Florida. Yeah. I don't know. It Iowa. Is, it is it is Iowa. pretty flat and it's pretty like uh you know, like a lot of swamps and stuff. You know, you don't What about Missouri? Of, like, I bet Missouri's scenic view. Missouri's yeah. a state where I think about Missouri and I Iowa. still at the age of forty two, I'm like, is Missouri a state? That's a state, right? Missouri. What the fuck? You know what's Missouri? funny is that uh, um, you got St. Louis. You got. Uh, I drove down to uh, Missouri to meet up with Zach. You were shooting a show or something. You couldn't be there, but I drove down Kansas to Missouri. City. We did a show in at a college in the middle of the state. It was me, Sam, Darren, and Trevor. It was 2015. It was actually the last time I saw everybody in person before the funeral, and um, so I drove down there. And the thing, but you don't think about it with Missouri is it's like. It's starting to get into the south. Like the 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 northern part of Missouri is like kind of more Midwest, a little bit hilly, some trees, but a lot of farmland. And then you get about through the middle of the state, and I was like, oh, there's an armadillo. <laughs> you know, it's like the south. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Missouri's uh, Shirley Jesting says Missouri has a lot of juggalos and meth. I would say Missouri is a good candidate for ugly state. I would say Iowa because Iowa's just fucking corn. I watched uh, Winter's Bone last night. That's, uh, I don't know what state that was shot yeah. in. That's an ugly state. Is that West Virginia? I want to say West Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and see, South Dakota, like, great our movie. pretty stuff is, I mean, we have beauty around here, but really our pretty stuff is on the other side of the state. So if we were split into East South Dakota, if, if, it's, if they split again and I lived in East South Dakota, we'd be a really ugly state, I think. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Killer CBH, Missouri. John Hawks is so good in that movie. You're right. He is so good. Um, Someone says Rhode Island has no beauty. Yeah, no, Rhode yeah, I don't know, Sam. I don't know. I don't know if that's the true. ocean. I, I mean, I've been to some nice beaches in Rhode Island. It also has what's that. that? Uh, what's that? That time, I mean, like this is like kind of like man-made beauty, but like it the um, Newport, Rhode Island, where it's all like. 
like Great Gatsby esque mansions and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Where they all smoke Newports, my dear. Yeah. Cool woods, yeah, yeah. Um, West Virginia ain't ugly. There's an entire song about its beauty. Oh, sure. Is that country? John Denver. Great song. Yeah, it is a country great song. road. Love that song. Uh, someone says Texas is legit, not very pretty. Oh, hot take, but I like it. For a second, I thought someone said Hawaii, but no, they were talking about something else. I was like, there's no way. That's... <laughs> I mean, all the states out west have a lot of beauty in them. You can't really, I can't really think of one that's, you know. What's the, what? what is like the absolute most beautiful state? I would put Hawaii, Alaska, Maine. Uh, Washington state has i mean the mountains up there gets really really beautiful and portland and oregon's beautiful too but i think washington kind of uh trumps a little bit uh montana is fucking california sure i mean california probably yeah california california has some beauty but it has so much fucking you know what's a really beautiful state is uh minnesota especially northern minnesota is fucking gorgeous uh really? it's a lot of wilderness and kind of rolling hills almost mountains you know there's skiing and stuff up there um then you get up towards the boundary waters like to the uh, uh great lakes and stuff like yeah minnesota's pretty 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 so is wisconsin really those areas this is the uh we got to move on we can't talk i know about but yeah. one more yeah. one more anymore. thing done, i dude. think i think done, we bro. i think the ugliest state is indiana all right fair okay. enough. all right yeah. actually i think that's a pretty good point okay <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. What yeah. else? What else? Sam, say something insanely provocative. Go. Blow our uh, mind. Ooh, uh, mm, oh, um, this isn't insanely provocative. This is just something funny that I saw on Facebook. Uh, not wow, not way to for. fucking not screw up. For. Way to drop uh, the ball. Uh, someone was posting about a school shooting. Uh, they're they're posting about this uh six-year-old that was that like shot yeah. someone in their school on purpose and, i heard yeah, about and, that and they were posting about it and they said uh they did this post and it was like this is just like this is what happens when you know you don't like when people aren't taking care of their kids and or people are abusing kids at home and and then ends the post in a very unnecessary way which was uh you know my niece is is only a year younger than this or my nephew is only a year younger than this kid and he isn't into anything like this it's <laughs> like yeah you're you know a five-year-old yeah you're five yeah, you don't have to yeah. specify that other people aren't into to school shootings yeah <laughs> dude my nephew facebook is like he's not so even like... interested in doing any school shootings at all whatsoever yeah yeah well My but here's another nephew. point to that lady it's like yeah you think if he was planning one he'd fucking tell you the grandma that puts everything on facebook my really son told idea me idea he's gonna you. buy a rifle yeah the idea of like staring at a five-year-old in fear like that kid is fucking plotting my death you know like all these five-year-olds out there fucking terrified he's just looking at her like <laughs> fuck just like the zoom in on the five year old face. The, that starts. I'll look go fuck yourself. Says, uh, I don't know any five year old who wouldn't shoot up a school. <laughs> yeah, dude, little kids are crazy. <laughs> exactly. They're the most volatile people on the planet. Five year olds, if they had the ability, they would do they would murder everybody all the time. When uh when my daughter was like four, uh and my girlfriend at the time was 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 sleeping at, and and I was already at work. And Margaret, she was like four. She opens up the door and wakes her up and goes, hey, do you know about sneaking? It's like, little kids are fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> do you know about sneaking? And, that, and then that lady dumped me. That was She's like, your kid's a fucking murderer. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, wait. And, then, and then after she left, I'm like, Margaret, here's five bucks. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, was, what was your answer? Did you say you knew about it? Or I wasn't like, there. I wasn't oh. there. Um, but no, she, she says, yeah, the little kids, uh, kids say the darndest things, but yeah. So yeah, they could be, uh, plot and shit, man. But, but the things people, I mean, all social media is bad, but Facebook's like extra bad. And it's like, it's just, it's still just terrible. It's people just like, 
It's just the worst. Uh, all your worst impulses, you know. I've, and like, I've weirdly least gotten, amount of thought. I've weirdly gotten back into Facebook. Well, we're like, over forty, so we don't fuck? need excuses anymore. You know, we're just. I don't fucking even know my people. login. No, I mean it, it's weird. I forget how I. There was something where like I was like, oh, I've got an alert, and then the alert was like, hey, someone you met once posted something on someone you don't know's account, and I was like, oh. And then I just started looking up people I went to high school with. It is kind of It addictive. is like a weird, lurky, like a, a weird, sneaky class reunion, basically. Yeah. yeah. Someone says, uh, well, Steve will say social media isn't bad. Social media is just websites. You're really just saying regular human behavior is bad. I see your point. So, the thing is, is social media makes it easier to magnify that shit because now our opinions and comments are put on this fucking uh, pedestal as like these holy things and like, and everybody's rushing to get their opinions out. So they don't even wait to see if they're using the right form of your, and everybody's saying a bunch of horrible shit. And uh, you know, it's just like, it's just madness. And yes, it's human behavior, but it's like, uh, it's a way to magnify the worst shit of it. But there was somebody else that said something interesting. I want to. Uh... Wow. Bill Cosby does plan to tour in 2023. I heard that. That's fucked up, man. Isn't he blind now? Yeah, I thought so too. How's he gonna drive? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, okay. Someone asked this. Implicate asked this. What's worse, Facebook or Twitter or YouTube comments? I feel like YouTube okay. comments are still the worst. But I don't know. Bill uh, Cosby's rep, Andrew Wyatt, confirmed to Variety that the comedian is looking at a spring summer. To Who's this Andrew Wyatt guy that is like Bill Cosby's <laughs> manager? Like, what is what happened? A soulless motherfucker. I gotta look him up on IMDb how soulless? Bro. I gotta figure out about this guy. Hey, Andrew uh, Wyatt. <laughs> hey, this is uh, Who Zach. Else is I just I just directed uh, uh, this movie, Barbarian. Uh, I'm just wondering. I'm looking for some representation. <laughs> I mean, if All you can right. get Bill Cosby a tour, you can definitely help me out. <laughs> Bill Cosby, who's his team? Because IMDb Pro tells you everyone's manager and agent. You get to see all their all their reps and stuff. Oh, IMDb Pro. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh he I doesn't have it. Uh, he does It just says BillCosby.com. He doesn't have any any rep. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. So he's the like, guy. Who? who Harvey Weinstein. I, like, who's the most toxic person? I wonder if we can see who reps him. Harvey Weinstein. Does he have an uh, agent? I doubt it. Who, who was that guy nope. um, that stand up that, like, kind of. Uh, um, went kind of, uh, uh, like, super, super alt right. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> oh, that Trevor knew. The, the one that Trevor knew, yeah. I can't remember that guy's name. Benjamin? Oh, he knew oh, yeah. him. That guy kind of went yeah. nuts, right? Yeah. Spacey, no reps. No reps for Kevin Spacey. Oh, someone Owen says Benjamin. Mel Gibson. Owen Benjamin. Who reps? Uh, um... Well, Mel Gibson's got to have reps, right? He's probably yeah. a huge rep. He, he's worth. And John Travolta, but John Travolta's not. John Travolta's not canceled. No, he's yeah. just like a weirdo. He's fine, you know. Mel Gibson. Who reps him? I'm sure it's going to be one of the big ones. But yeah. He's at the he's at APA. Oh. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> There's a guy Great from Half Baked. That's a good oh, yeah. question. Oh yeah, that's a good Someone one. Someone says, "Uh, what now?" Drake Bell. Yeah. Someone says the guy from Half Baked who went super conservative. That'd be Jim Brewer, and he did a show yeah. here not that long ago. And I mean, I, I was never gonna go, but uh, I looked Drake up. Drake Bell what, is a Daniel Hoff agency. Yeah, wait, what's going on with Jim Brewer? Is he like, did he turn really psycho crazy? Yeah, man. So okay, so he just I saw did a show here. saying that everyone in Hollywood was a pedophile. I was like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Brewer was saying that. Yeah. Yeah, He's makes like, sense. You don't even know. He's on all that. He's on all that shit, man. And plus, like, there's this place here that like will book comedy shows, but so far they got Jim Brewer, and then a few uh, months later they got Rob uh, Schneider, both right wingers, you know. And apparently the audio at the Rob Schneider show was so bad people couldn't hear his jokes. And I heard about it later. I'm like, and they still complained. But um, oh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so Jim Brewer. So I looked up some of his humor, and like, so he was doing. 
like the 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 bit I saw was anti like anti COVID anti vax and like not even from like and I disagree with you standpoint it was like I don't understand w- what the structure of this joke is because basically he was like yeah people who uh, talk about wearing masks are just like birds right and so then he just kind of does this little bird impression is like well I gotta wear a mask gotta wear a mask and so stuff like that and it's like okay I get it. you're you're mocking people to say you wear a mask but I don't. Like, I don't see the connection between the bird thing. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it didn't make yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you still and, have to be funny. Yeah, and, you know, the right-wing comedy thing is always like, oh, uh, Kevin Farley did a show here, and uh, he is pretty right-wing. That'd be Chris's brother. And uh, he apparently started doing pro Christy Gnome jokes, and even though she's still our governor, got elected again and stuff, like people aren't super into her. So even that was like his pro Christy Gnome material was like failing. And he asked my friend Lee, who booked him, like, "What is that?" He's like, "Well, nobody likes her." Like you know, like he was probably just doing that thing, like, "Oh, it's a Republican. I'll just talk about a Republican." You know, but he apparently asks for like a whole lot of deli trays on his rider, <laughs> like a lot. For like our medium. Anyways. All right, guys. We we um, you know we've been doing the show for a while, and we haven't. I I don't think we have any hunks down for our list. Fuck. Okay. Um. Oh Fabio. Ooh, Fabio. Okay. He's still Zach, hot, right? Zach, do you have a hunk? Oh my god. Uh. You can't say me or Sam. No, we're no. we're we're all already on the list. Oh, that's right, we're on the list already. Okay. Um, Mr. Bean. <laughs> Rowan he Atkinson has a name. or Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkinson. Rowan At- uh, No, Rowan Mr. A- Bean. Mr. Bean. <laughs> okay, Mr. Bean. Oh, oh, Those I want to take eyes. back my answer. I'm going to say real hunks, like people I think are actually hunks. Uh The guy that played Luke Cage, he's a hunk. Mike Mike Coulter. Oh, the, the guy from Plane? Oh, is he in Plane? Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's a hunk. Right? I think he's pretty hunky. A big, okay. beefy hunk. Um, a lot of people I... saying Idris Elba. Eh. Someone says David Lynch. <laughs> Hello, People Magazine. Thank you for making me the world's sexiest man. <laughs> Did that happen? No, I'm just that was my lame David. <laughs> that, would awesome. uh, that would be in- fucking incredible. <laughs> like it's David Lynch for some reason. He's 74. <laughs> Andre the Giant. Oh yeah. I like that. I like Who's that that, that uh, uh, wrestler guy that was on Survivor? Uh, John something. Uh, John, that guy was hunky. Uh, someone in chat <laughs> helped me out. No, not John Cena. Not John Cena. Uh, somebody says Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> he just died, didn't he? What a bummer. What? Yeah. He just died, right? Yeah, yeah. total bummer, man. Yeah. That was that weird trilogy. John Morrison, well, that's who it was. Yeah, I'm going to put John four, Morrison for my hunk. Those four nice comedians all died in a, a short amount of time. Norm, Bob Saget, Bob Saget Louis Anderson, you know. and, then, uh, yeah. and then Gilbert. And someone had a picture... Like when Norm died first, someone had a picture of the four of them, and then like it kept getting posted as each one of them died. It was really weird. Like, well, it was like the four, four of them had a show together or something. Yeah. Um, you left track right, of that list. What? <laughs> well, he wasn't in that picture. He wasn't oh, in that picture. He wasn't in that picture. Oh, I, I think it's just that you were like comedians. Oh, and I said, ni- I said nice comedians. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Love you, man. Okay. This was a good See show. Love it was you, a fun dude. show. I had fun. Was I'm fun. glad we did it. Yeah. So yeah. now we're probably going to go back to doing two weeks again, but every but two weeks from today, right? It's, uh, it's kind of what today, we were trying yeah. to trying to yeah, reset this. We're trying to get it back on the on the tracks. Crisco says, "Zach, you killed it tonight." Um. Cool. Uh, all right, guys. I'm dipping. Tomorrow. All right, See you later, Zach. Buddy. Tomorrow, you can see. This gruesome, this gruesome twosome. Um, boys, uh, boys. I, Timmy, do you I know what the we'll, theme is? Uh, I, the theme that I uh, was told sounds like trouble. But uh, yeah. trailers that look like they could be for a porn but are not for porn, right? 
Yeah. It's oh, trailers boy. that look like they're porn, but are not porn. And uh, We're going to have to watch some beforehand, were you, man. Were you involved with how this came about? I mean, is it because I said GP once? No, no. Okay. Uh, it, it does have to do with GP, though. Uh, right, okay. There is this series of movies called 1313. Do you know about this? Okay, I kind of sounds familiar. Yep. Uh, we watched a trailer for... 1313 Bigfoot Island and they all look like uh they are basically they they are not GP themselves but are basically it, it's it looks like uh the the guy who produced them was like hey I don't need to get uh grinder I can just produce movies and make guys take their shirts off <laughs> It's like the uh, Andy Sedaris for dudes. Andy Sedaris made uh, a lot of those 80s and 90s movies. They're actually pretty fucking great movies. Uh, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, Miami, or Malibu Express, where he just was casting playmates to play like spies and shit. And they'll be like topless in a hot tub. Be like, where do you think we we should hide these diamonds? (laughs) It's Uh... funny because it probably passes the Bechdel test. It's two women having a conversation. They're not about a man, but their boobs are out and they're in a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're talking about hiding diamonds. Right. <laughs> yeah. He was super concerned with that. Uh, it's got to pass the test. Um, yeah, wait. I, actually, I, but yeah, I, that I, sounds like that. So, uh, what? Uh, so, uh, I need to start at like nine my time. So, that's seven my time? Yeah, is that okay? That's okay. So, you know, I'm starting a a and D night with uh, family members ooh, starting tomorrow. Ooh. My daughter and my two brother and two of my brothers and uh, that live in oh. town. My daughter wanted a DM, and I was like, "That wait, like you should play some first, you know." One last thing. What? It, I'm not sure if you. I mean, we didn't prepare this, but do you want to show chat what you what you what I found across? last night? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you give me like two minutes, I can have it prepared. Yeah, two minutes. I'll, I'll look at like uh, 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 who to raid. We'll figure that out. But um, oh, someone says great movie. Did Timmy say great movie or great booby? I said great movie, but you know, Sam wasn't uh, on that trailer, boys. But there was one that I was on with Nate. I think we were doing sequels, and someone did uh, the Hills Have Eyes two. And. Uh, there's a guy there's a voiceover in the trailer that i think is saying ruby but it said it sounded to me and so i kept saying this, oh i, I heard you, you were i there. heard that i wasn't there i was listening oh, okay but yeah booby <laughs> it really sounded like that yeah please timmy don't make them roll dexterity to walk uh i didn't do that for these guys i didn't make them roll very much of anything <laughs> No, you made us figure out how many steps it would take to get yeah. anywhere. Uh, what was it? It is going to be funny, though, when I'm, like, hosting this. And I'm like, okay, so you meet this guy along the road, and nobody says, I'm going to stab him and listen to an iPhone. You know, it's going to be weird. That... I <laughs> Maybe mean, someone will say that. I don't know. Yeah, they might. Yeah. Um, I can screen share whenever you're ready. All right. Oh, oh you're, you're not actually going to, like... Uh, find yeah i think i'm ready oh oh you gonna show oh, yeah why don't I just go get him duh yeah, Fucking... yeah. i thought you were gonna go hello get him. man what an idiot okay i'll be right back all right i'm gonna uh read off these 13 13 movie titles uh by david uh the director is david dakota oh so but um let's see he directs multiple movies a year. I wonder how much money you make directing, like, five movies a year. Uh, where, okay. 1313 Frank and Queen. Actually, I'm going to start. Thir- 1313 Nightmare Mansion. 1313 Wicked Stepbrother. 1313 Actor Slash Model. 1313 boy crazies christmas oh, spirits 1313 giant killer bees 1313 haunted frat 
1313 Bigfoot Island, 1313 Cougar Cult, 1313 Bermuda Triangle, 1313 Billy the Kid, 1313 Hercules Unbound, 1313 Night of the Widow, 1313 Frank and Queen. Wow. All right. So uh, here's what I found. Uh, We'll start with this one. Is it in focus? Uh, Maybe that's why I should show the picture. Whose is it? Bubba Wilcox. Oh, that's the Bubba my... Wilcox character sheet. Oh, Sam. Oh, cool. Uh, and then we got uh, hyphen Potamus Seven. Zach's character. Cool. And then, of course, uh, uh Fut Buckerson. Wow. Um, look at that. And you know what? Man, I have good handwriting. Look at that. Um. But then, so those were like uh, templated ones. But so then, when Darren's like, "We we I made him be an orc because there he came in on the next episode, and there was an orc in the room when you when we ended." So I'm like, "You're gonna be this orc, but you could be a cleric." So we had to make a new character sheet. And for Darren's uh, background, it just says "horny" for peppermint pissy. <laughs> I think he told me to do that. I might have just written it because like that's what all she would ever talk about. But yeah. <laughs> Here's what we're still like working out uh, uh, stuff with our with our merch situation, but when we get it worked out, I want to make a line of T-shirts that are pocket tees. Hopefully, we'll have that uh-huh. as an option with a little drawing of one of the characters on the front, and then the character sheet on the back. That'd be fun. You guys would you like those, uh, Hortel? Yeah, one's in chat if you'd like that. One in, one's in chat. Ten one in chat. No. People saying yes. Someone even said yes, daddy. Now there's a lot of ones. There you go. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'll share a picture of those uh, character sheets. I'll put it in the subreddit, which is just WKUK, isn't it? On Reddit? That is a good idea, Sam. People would people would enjoy that. Well, anyway, so I'm excited to start D and D again, and I do want us to do something like that again. I know that I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever get it off the ground, but yeah, uh, I mean, maybe you know, we could do something that's that but different, you know, <laughs> shorter, or what? Do you mean like I not mean, like... medieval? You know, I don't know. I don't know if Zach and Darren would be down, or yeah. you know, maybe we could get different people and just do a a D and D night on the channel. We could, have, yeah. Oh, uh, Leela, we could have Leela join in. Oh um, yeah, she'd be down. I mean, when I first came across those character sheets, I kind of forgot they were in this box. I was looking at, it and it kind of, it kind of hit me a little bit at first, you know, because of course, Fought Buckers was on top, but. Um, uh you know but it's uh it's definitely something i want to hang on to and nate was like auction them i'm like well hold on mr fucking money bags i want to like hold on to these they're cool you know so yeah totally that's why i was thinking that is exactly why i was like oh we should just make them into t-shirts yeah that's a great idea Uh, very good idea um did you pick a raid thing how about someone says pemberton someone else said please raid where is it i think can you raid Semper Highly? Semper Highly? How do you spell that? It says S E M P E R H I G H L Y. Alright, they've they're playing uh um Elden Ring. Hmm. What he's got he's got beads in his goatee and he's got 18 people watching him i like all those okay uh all right, sure. isadora all right. is also on uh dabs right. and drums is on uh someone says final list of best hunks and punks okay well uh i don't think our punks list changed it's still all of green day our, our best our hunks were um the wrestler guy john wilson or john sure uh mike coulter john morrison um, 
John Mike Morrison, Coulter okay. And Mike Mr. Coulter. Bean. <laughs> Mr. Bean. <laughs> Not Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean. Specifically the character. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is from right up the street. Well, not right up the street, but he's like from a town 50 miles from here in South Dakota. The Rumble Saw him Star. wrestle, normal wrestle, high school style wrestling when I was a kid. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. There's like, I'm like, who's that big guy from Webster? Yep. It might have been football, but no, I saw him at a sport here and I was like, Jesus. Um, because he's like a very large person. So, anyways, yes. Horton, we love you. Sam and I will see you tomorrow when you're Gooby Wood. And uh, yeah, I don't remember fighting that. So cool. Uh, have um, fun watching some video games. Alrighty. All right, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Bye. Sam. Bye.